Hello and welcome everyone to the third episode of Not Enough Dice, uh, The Shattered Realms. Uh, today's Woo. recap oh. is going to be read by Sawyer. Now? You can start anytime. Yep. Love that. Last time on Not Enough Dice, The Shattered Realms. We barely escaped the magical fog, finding shelter in Viorthropes from local inn. Ular managed to retrieve the staff of Saloon from the magical dog, but the dog itself disappeared. Our group of six, plus Merrick, Algar, and the innkeeper Quileth, spent the night in the inn, although Azza departed at some point in the night. When morning came, Panlin and myself had a brief discussion over whether we could even trust the other members of the party, before setting off to call a town meeting. However, we would soon come to learn that every residence we approached happened to be empty, uh, including the tavern, where Hunter and Amos had disappeared without any sign of unfreezing. As his presence in the blacksmith workshop confirmed that this must have taken place during the fog, or maybe even as a result of it. Uh, upon returning to the inn, where Jordane, Ular, Layla, and Algar had been discussing the previous day's events over breakfast, the nine remaining people in Viorthrope recouped all of our knowledge over the past 24 hours, and after my incredibly well-disguised identify spell, we realized the staff would offer a radius of warmth if we were, able, we were going to travel. I was slow to be convinced by the party, having never left Viorthrope for more than a few minutes at a time thanks to my orders from Jarl Augustus. We finally reached a compromise, and I allowed myself to be convinced to make the journey to the cave that Merrick had prophesied about the night before. I did make a quick pit stop to write down in detail everyone in the party, just, just in case I was killed, kidnapped, or otherwise betrayed, just so that letter would reach Jarl Augustus and they would be branded outlaws and hunted. After that, we left, leaving Belaith and Merrick in the inn. The journey began well, but admittedly, I started to get cold feet. When we were attacked by a group of goblins, I bravely used the opportunity to run away, while the others dispatched of the goblins, especially aided by Algar. The party returned to take me back to the cave, and in an attempt not to chicken out again, I let Jordan and Algar carry me there. However, upon getting close to the cave, I started to get pulled back, and several of the members of the party claimed to see a magical tether attaching me and leading straight to Viorthrope. That is where we left off. Thank you, Sawyer. Uh, today, uh, M and Angel are not able to talk. M due to sickness and Angel due to uh, noisy environment. So they will be using the chat on the side. And we will be doing our best to accommodate uh, this challenge. I won't, I won't call it a challenge necessarily, but this obstacle. Uh, so, Adris, tell me how you're feeling about this magical, um, tether that's holding you back, that you're now able to see for the first time. Oh, you're, sorry, you're asking me how I feel yes. about seeing a magical tether for the first time that is pulling me towards Fjordthrope. Mm-hmm. As a man who spent his life despising magic in all forms. You are mm -hmm. asking me how I feel about being pulled back to Viorthro. I am in a I am indeed panic. <laughs> mm-hmm. To which I say Let me go. Uh Jordan's gonna kinda look to the rest of the party like, do I let him go? Why am I letting him go? <laughs> uh so we all see this, right? Uh, everyone can see it, yep. It looks very much like a blue, <clears throat> wispy chain that's coming off specifically his uh, hands and his feet. Uh, well? Who did this to me? Which one of you did this to me? <laughs> what purpose oh, would we have for tying you to that town? This is, this is why I don't um, trust anybody. You have to let me go. You have to. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, get me out of here. Get me out of here now. Um, Jordan, Algar, release me at once. That if we release you, you're gonna get told back. I do not care. Just let me. Just get me out of here. Hand. 
I'm gonna try and like pass my hand through the chain or touch it or. Mm -hmm. Um, you you pass through, and it's like your hand passes through like the steam of boiling water. So, so there's a little bit of or... like, yeah, there's a little bit of heat to it. Huh. Peculiar. I wonder. Snap my fingers, uh, and like some runes on his sleeve glow. Uh, summon a firebolt in his hands. I'm gonna mm -hmm. kind of hold it near the chain, see if there's any effect. Sorry, what are you doing? I'm just holding like a firebolt to the chain to see if there's any sort yep. of effect. Uh, there is no effect. <sighs> Do, am I am I letting him go? Yes, yes, you are. I'm not taking your opinion at the moment. <laughs> I'm the only one who has one that matters. Am I not? I would say hold on, because I'm not sure what. I don't think any of us are entirely sure what this is. <sighs> And you've we... never seen this before, have you, Address, at all in your life? No, I have not seen a magical chain leading me back to your throat before. That would be insane. I don't suppose anyone knows mm. how to dispel magic of any kind. Uh, unfortunately, not. No. So. So where do we go from here? Should we, I guess... Well, like, how are you feeling? Like, is it just feeling like you're kind of being lightly tugged back? Or, like, your limbs are gonna come off kind of feeling? Sir, other than my intense, intense desire to return to Vyorthrop, how am I feeling? Mm -hmm. Um... It's like you're doing a full body workout right now. Like, you're not, you're struggling very hard. I don't, I don't care what we do, but I cannot, I cannot hold it like this for much longer. So you must either sever this tether, if any of you are <clears throat> brave enough to do that after potentially creating it, or let me return to Vyorthrope, where I will remain until we solve this problem. Well... One thing, would you mind just lying on the snow for a minute? Yes, uh, I... if Jordan and Algar will, please release me and I will be happy to do that. <laughs> do you promise not to get up and run? Yes. And so mm. check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I believe that one. Oh. I believe it wholeheartedly. Where's <laughs> my insight? Yeah. Oh, balls! <laughs> Yo, let's go! Ad Address is struggling enough that you believe it. Well. <laughs> nice Double sixes. <laughs> Okay. Um, one. I'm going to like try to convey to like Algar like okay, we'll put him down in the snow, but we're going to keep holding on to him, like keep holding him down kind of thing. I'm curious as to whether or not it drags him on its own. Oh. Has like if he remains absolutely still, would it just like like, as if someone was pulling on it, kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, please put me down and I will remain absolutely still. <laughs> I. Okay. I'm going to start to lower him down, um, but being mm -hmm. ready to, like, grab onto him again. Okay. He starts taking off immediately. Yep. Am I on the ground? You are on the ground. Sprint away. <laughs> I'm grabbing for him. Okay. Uh, Jordan, make a attack. Okay. An attack? To okay. grapple him. Yep. Okay. That's Is this opposed, or do I strength? just 
right? Yeah, you're able to oppose it. Okay. Could I oppose with acrobatics? Because I'm kind of trying to, like, wriggle free. Yep. Yep, that's fine. Is it strength or athletics? I always forget. Uh, athletics, Unarmed attack is usually strength. Yeah, it's just strength. This is a grapple. I rolled a nine acrobatics. Hmm. Well, I rolled a, a lovely eight in total. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, this is going great. <clears throat> Soft to a roaring start. Oh, you fools! <laughs> I'm free. Well, that's. Mm -hmm. You know what's really funny? I rolled a six. Was my roll roll? <laughs> All the sixes. Are we going All after the... him then? <clears throat> uh, well, I would figure. Uh, probably, yes. Yeah. We spent an hour fucking yeah. walking out here with him. <laughs> I don't quite understand it, though. For a man who hates magic, he's awfully eager to follow where it's leading him. Well, that's a point, but I don't think he has much conscious say in that matter. Because we're chasing after it's... us. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll just, like... we'll, we'll start to take off at this point running. <laughs> I mean, I'm stumbling through the snow because I just, like, did the most intense body workout of my life as a very short Jordan just kind of jogs up next to him, like, hey, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I you must... said you weren't going to move. I must return to your. I must. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we're so going I... back with you. As I get closer to the orthrope, does the tether disappear? Or is it, like, still tangible? Uh, it's tangible, but it's becoming more and more faded the closer you get. I don't... I don't know which one of you did this to me, but I will not stand for it. Go figure out the cave yourselves. I'm done with your tricks and your lies. We have no reason to figure out this cave ourselves. Padlin's like huffing and wheezing, trying to keep up with a group. He's <laughs> short ass non legs. He's like, we, it wasn't any of us. Why would, why would we want to? <laughs> Padlin is not athletic at all. He has <laughs> such strength score. I think when you say, why do you want to? I'm going to turn, like, I'm going to stop and I'm going to turn around and I'll say, why would you want to? Why would you want to? enter my town and and then inflict a fog that makes all of the residents disappear and then trap me there so that I might be consumed as well? I do not know. Let it be known, I do not trust any of you. Good for you. Hold on a minute. Like, well, as <laughs> Adras is kind of stopped for a minute, he's just taking a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no reason for us to have done this. This is not within my realm of magic, but, oh my god, he was running too fast. I'm wondering either, it could be two things. Either, one, it's a curse set by someone else to keep you here. I have my own theory who might have done that. Two, oh my god, it's a physical or well, arcane manifestation of your desire to want to stay. You are magic after all. Oh. S suppose that's technically oh. true. Jesus. Oh my god. Who wants right. water? No, I will be fine. I'll be fine. No okay. gum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he kind of grabs a snowball and bites into it. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. So. For a man, said to the others, for a man who's awfully opposed to magic, you seem awfully eager to follow it for the minute. What's brought that about? I... I don't... I have to return to the Orthrope. It's... Why do I have to return to the Orthrope? Why do you have to return to the Orthrope? And then I might look down at this, like, 
spectral chain and mm -hmm. I'll look up suppose that none of you did this to me why am I why am I trapped do do I I've never left VR throat for more than a few minutes at a time and even then I felt shreds of the same compulsion that I feel now would there be uh, anyone who wanted to curse you? Well, I've got an idea. I don't know if I like it, though. Oh? The are. Well... Maybe, or... What else? Someone... Did the yard give you anything other than the letter? I'll think about it for a moment. Well... Well, I showed up to the Orthrope, and I had the letter from the Jarl. I had a stamp that I could use to create my own variant of the Royal Seal, so that my letters would return to him, and they would be known that it was from me. Other than that, it was the clothes on the back, some meager supplies... Right, would you mind if I held on to the letter for a minute or two? I'll give you it back. I gave you it back before. I have a theory you'd like to test. I... I will allow this to happen. It'll only be a moment and I'll give you it right back. Then I will give Panlin the letter. Okay. Do the chains do anything? Do I have a sudden desire to want to return to Viorthrope? <laughs> no, you do not have a sudden yeah. desire to return to Viorthrope. Right, well, I'm going to hand him the back. There goes that theory, but... What happened leading up to you being assigned to Viorthrope? Like, did you... Yes meet with anyone anything like suspicious going on what were you doing well, before you came here well I was originally from the north and then I became a dedicated servant to Sokugari and a close personal friend of the Jarl that's it I just was posted to Viorthrope on royal orders and was just expected to be treated as you would the Jarl, so really, that's that's all I know. Wait. So you just... That doesn't tell us what you did before you came here. You've only been here for two years. What was your job before this? What, what did yeah. you do for the Jarl? I... How did you become his friend? I... I, I, I just told you. I I was a dedicated servant to Sokugeri. To Sokugeri? Doing what? The country. Serving it. Doing what exactly? I Describe was to me something that you did in service of this country. I served. In war? In politics? Do you I don't know. Probably. Probably. I must have in order to be a personal friend of the Jarl. This is. You don't you... remember, do you? <sighs> you? Do you not remember? Well, you don't remember your past. Who were your parents? Where in the north did you come from? I. I don't like all these. <clears throat> did you have any other I... friends other than the Jarl? I. You're. you're... You're asking a lot of me right now. I just... Asa asks, do you know anything? I, I, I told you what I know. So all you have is two years worth of memories. Of your throat. No, I... And the brief period where you were traveling here. 
Do you know what the well, Yarrow looks like? Could you describe him to he, me? Of course, of course. Well, of course, I know what the Yarrow looks like. Many, many travelers have come by and. But you've seen his face. You said yes. Well, I've, I've seen, I've seen images and recreations. But have you seen him yourself? If you are a close friend of Yarrow, Augustus. No. No, I haven't. At least, not n not that I can conjure up at the time. What? What are you implying? How long you... have you hated magic for? Uh, well, I I hate magic because. The Jarl hates magic. It does so I must, as his friend. Jarl or someone else? You are a peculiar king. Are we... Are we done here? No, we're far from done now. You're... This is very intriguing. This is so my theory is disturbing. A curse, right? He's gonna look at the rest of the group, like, very can, I, can... Mm -hmm. some kind of magic, certainly. Curse to make him forget who he was. I know exactly who I am. I am Adris Thibbs. You, you know who you've been for two years. <laughs> can you tell me your mother's name? I can tell you her last name. Of course you can. <laughs> can you tell me the name of the town you grew up in? It's in the can north. They me... probably didn't even have a name. Probably. There. Probably. Probably you use when you don't know and you're guessing. <clears throat> Asa says, Okay, okay, so let me get this right. You, a person who says he's in service to someone and follows everything he has said, yet still hasn't met him face to face, and you don't remember shit. Of, of course I've met him face to face. We would not be friends if we hadn't met face to face. That would be... But you could not describe his face to me of your own memory. It's been a while I've been in Viorthra for far too long. You've been here for two years. Close personal friends don't leave that quite fast. I'll explain why we are in constant communication then. Are you? Seems very one-sided from what you were telling us. Communication works two ways. It's not just you sending off letters and getting no reply. Is that letter you even have from the Jarl? Was it even written by him? If you've it's, never actually met him. It's signed. It has a royal seal. Yeah. yeah. Could be forged. Also, I've never, I'm not, like, from this country, but do I... Is this... Do I know the seal? Could I look at it? Um... <clears throat> Penguin, I don't think you would know the seal. Ular would definitely know the seal of the Yarrow. And it is indeed from Jarl Augustus. It looks legit and all that. It looks very legit. So, A little worn down because of the three years, yeah, but it does look years. legit. <laughs> well, two and a half, three. Asa says, fuck the royalty. <laughs> <laughs> I've always known why we didn't get along, Asa, but... You don't need to bring it up. <laughs> the seal looks no. legit, at least, but that doesn't mean it couldn't be a very good forgery. Or someone using the seal. I don't understand why we're focusing on this. Even even you. Would you not want to go to the cave? Isn't that what we originally departed for? We do. Instead we of do. focusing on me, let's focus on the task at hand. We were trying really? to until you were magically pulled back to town.
I mean, technically, that could have something to do with what was going on here as well. Seems that someone's wanted you here. Like why? Sir, can I just make a general insight check? <laughs> sure. I don't really have any goals <clears throat> here. Um, I'm trying to do it in roll 20. Uh, yep. Bam. Nice. Uh, so general insight in terms of what? What? They are throwing a lot of stuff out. Mm hmm And I suppose not all of it could be entirely inaccurate. Because especially um, the Jarl, mm -hmm. like, I don't think I do remember ever having seen his face now that I'm actually faced with thinking about it. Mm hmm Um, I would say now that you're thinking about it for the first time, you don't really have any memories past the two and a half years that you've been here. But... But we're... But I'm a, but I'm a servant. And I'm a... That's, that's, that's who I am. You think you could make it to the cave? I'm gonna... After all, twice we've tried, twice you've pulled away. Maybe if we it. go far enough, it'll break. Just snap on its own. Please don't attempt to do that to me. Even getting close to it was... An enormous physical strain, I don't... Could we but, find what's maybe... causing it here in the town? It became faint, right? When, as we got closer to town? Mm-hmm. Is it completely gone? Like, if, like, we keep walking and eventually get back to town, do we think, like, it'll just be completely <clears throat> invisible by the time we get back? Uh, that's something I'm gonna let your characters figure out if we have okay. 10 minutes and i can borrow borrow your pearl i could maybe figure out what this is well it's not it's not tangible is it it's almost actually give me a moment i've I've used this once before already, and you've seen it. Sir, so if I'm going to use my Glimmer Tear cantrip, and I'm okay. going to attempt to open up a couple of these, like, rifts, and try mm -hmm. and focus it all on, like, one, sort of like a magnifying glass, like, intensely like focusing light onto a spot i want to try and yep. if it's like a chain i want to see if i can focus a ton of this like magical light that comes from somewhere that i don't really understand onto mm -hmm. the chain yeah can you dm me the details of that again Uh, in the meantime, what are the rest of you doing? Um, or are you just gonna wait? Do we have ten minutes? Because I could try and figure it out. Unless we're planning on something else. Well, those fails, I have another idea. If if these tethers are only tangible while he's away from town, perhaps one group stays with him, keeping him away, and another group yeah, tries to follow always. where they lead to precisely see if that's anything i'm down for a scavenger hunt could be an idea yes with a shot anyway 
Shall we do that while he's preparing? I mean, I can go run back real quick and try to follow it if I can. I'll wait with him. I'll be one of the people that stay about. Maybe have someone with strength, like Algar, to hold him down just in case. Yes, yes, of course. I'm just I'm curious as to what this is, and I. Yes, I mean, we I could always tie him up. <laughs> that seems extreme, considering. Mean fair. Rather unfair on the man. Yeah. Well. Well, actually, Palin, should you come with me? That way, if I discover whatever it is that is causing it, that way I have more of a magical person with me. Not a bad shout. Not a bad idea at all. Hey, Adra, um, as you guys... I... Nope, nope. Uh, uh, address. <laughs> Might I borrow your uh, pearl you used to figure out what the staff was? I'll give you it back. Well, I suppose we're in this deep. Take what you need. Ta. Well, okay. Uh, address, are you going to try and use the uh, glimmer? The glimmer spell to focus on your chains. Yes, I think I'm going to. I'm going to turn to the party and I'll just say, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll just take a moment here. And I'm going to walk like away from the uh, mm -hmm. fighting the urge to just like turn around and run. But like okay. get as far as I can to make the chain like as tangible as possible. Yep. Yeah, you get to the small clearing of the trees, just like the forge line. I'm with the token to where. Um, so you get there, and you get this intense feeling again, and the rest of the party and you can see that the chain spring back. Uh, this time a little bit brighter and more blue, more tangible. And now open up and I don't know how but I'll open up these little tears in the sky and in the space around the chain and I'll mm -hmm. point them all towards a link that's maybe three feet in front of me and okay. then I will open up all these seams at once and allow this outpouring of intense light to hit the chain okay um as you do that i need you to make a wisdom saving throw oh, no. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> and you're gonna need to beat your own dc oh that's great uh how do I, what's my dc my spell save dc yep okay uh my spell save dc is 14 Okay. And I will roll it in roll 20 again, because I figured out how to do that. <laughs> I hope this is the right decision. Did that roll? Uh, I did not get one, so. I okay. didn't see Sorry. one. Oh, wait. I hope this is the right decision. <laughs> That, did that work? Nope. <laughs> no. What are you clicking? <laughs> okay, cool. Um, is it a saving throw? Wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Yeah. Wisdom save. There's a box that says saving throws. I hope I made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, you guys watch <laughs> as Adris makes this beautiful speech, full so so full of self determination, 
looks at the chain to his left. You see all the like lights and fire focus in. You hit the chain. It does shatter. And then you look back at Adris, who's just like stumbling and just shaking his head. Uh oh. Uh you are disoriented. Oh uh, no. no. And right. <laughs> guys, I think I did it. And then I pass out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just fall over probably. That's a disoriented condition. <laughs> oh, I made it up. It's homebrew. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a standard confused condition. Oh, okay. Similar to that, so. Uh. <clears throat> Is that all right? Or run over to And uh, you take eight points of damage. Oh, I oh. am knocked out. Oh, oh <laughs> okay. not right. Not <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm gonna run over and kind of like pat him on the cheeks, like address you in there, not realizing he's ever cold yet. So actually, yeah, I do pass out. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, realize there's no response, and then the wee spite mechanical spider is gonna scuttle out of my sleeve. Oh dear! Kind of look okay. at him, and then glow a bright kind of bluish color. And instead of like spraying the salve, it just kind of emits an aura, and I'm gonna cast uh, Cure Wounds. <laughs> Great. Okay. Uh, do I roll or do yeah. you? You get 13 hit points back. <laughs> back to full. Oh, max healing on that <laughs> shit. Let's fucking go. Um. um <laughs> yep. So Agis is back up. However, <clears throat> Agis, as you come back to uh, consciousness. You recall a small memory. One of you playing in the fields. And like I'm a kid? Like like a young yeah, like you're a kid running through the fields, chasing someone. You don't know who, but there's laughter in the air. And you end up falling into a small ditch. At the bottom is a small stream that's just trickling down to the south at the end or other end of the stream is a ladybug the ladybug is blue oh and that's when you wake up thanks did to it... pangolin's healing did it did did, okay. did it work hey okay. address you there yes did, did i do it it's a chain seems still to gone. have worked uh, the chain yes. on his left hand is gone. Well, well, oh, it's... it worked. <laughs> oh no! There are four of them. Yep. Well, I've only got two first level spell slots, so don't die. The other three. <laughs> got it. Um, Layla can also heal a bit. Yes. Ah, true. Um, I mean, it is a cantrip, so hypothetically I could, but maybe it could just like fully kill me. Maybe How do you we feel? get anything like. Yeah, do you feel that same compulsion? Is it as strong as it was before, or is it weaker? Do I feel that same compulsion, sir? It's a little bit weaker. Okay, I think we're moving in the right direction. Did that attach any memories? I'm not sure. I feel like these are somehow connected. Anything at all? Adders. I... I... I think I... The ladybug? The ladybug? You're the ladybug? Wait. No, I'm not. Well, Wait. His <laughs> <laughs> well, is going to start turning to just Lord. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> It was actually exiled for being a threat. Have... Have any of you <clears throat> seen the... The ladybug that Hunter... Showed us? Is that familiar to anyone? No. I mean, no. I other than just seeing it once he showed it to us. No. I think I've. I think I might have seen it before. Once when I was young. 
I... I remember... being young. Well, that's a definite start. Do you want to try again? Maybe... I think I, think I have sh to. Okay, wait. Before we do this, and before you end up severely hurting yourself, what if we do the strategy of trying to go back to town and find what is tethering you first? Perhaps it's a less dangerous way to get you free of these chains. Might I request to stay here just for ten minutes before we leave? I mean, I can well, we have try to, do... to go find it first. Yeah. That, would, that would work as well, yes. Okay. Well. Yeah, I will. I'll hold Before off, you... then. Yes. I am do your best, to... buddy. Examine these as best I can and maybe figure out what what's happening. Yeah. Are you okay with that? I never like doing this with someone without asking them first. Do your worst. I'll, I'll just take the time to recover, I suppose. That would be. It'll do you is well. There, is it? You take a level of exhaustion every time you revive from zero? Yep. Until you sleep. Oh, no. Okay. I'm gonna cast identify on address. <laughs> Identify allows me to cast it on it. I, I took Address's Peril, so I've got a Peril there now. Mm -hmm. um, if I, instead you touch a creature throughout the casting, you'll learn what spells, if any, are currently affecting it. Yep. So I'm going to take out a little magnifying glass and insert the little Peril in the base of it. And it kind of glows a bit. It's got some rolls out some more tools and kind of adjusting mm -hmm. his goggles and like looking really closely at the links and the chains and looking at his where they connect to him and all that. And just do that for ten minutes, take notes and such. There you go. I'm Jordan is gonna start going back towards town trying to follow the remaining chains. You are. I'm gonna help with that. Hanley, okay. while you're working on that, I do have a mole on my left butt cheek. <laughs> just... Not a doctor. <laughs> it just says not even looking up. Um, so the chains do disappear about five feet away from address. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. All right. Never so at that then. point, it's kind of, it, yeah, at that point, it'd be kind of guesswork. I have so much um, ah, so you're a blacksmith. Can you do anything about the chains? Penguin, there are no spells affecting mm -hmm. uh, yeah. address. What did you find? <laughs> well, it's not a typical spell. More like an effect of some sort. So you mean to tell me that this is not a spell? Uh, not any spell that is uh, officially, I suppose, made, I, I guess. Can I tell what, like, School of Magic is? Let me look up the Schools of Magic real quick. Because <laughs> I forget what all of them do. Abjuration so. is protection. Evocation is elemental. Necromancy is... I'm trying to go through my head and run it, see if I can remember mm -hmm. more. Uh, Abjuration, evocation, necromancy, divination, kind of foresight. I can't even remember. I can't remember all right now. <laughs> Abjuration to protect stuff. Illusion. illusion. Self-explanatory enchantment. Make things do stuff. Illusion, Divination. enchantment. Those are the other two. Yeah. Transmutation. I don't forget enchantment. Conjuration. 
And if we uh, <laughs> I would say conjuration. Conjuration. So, <laughs> telling you the the obvious, I suppose it's conjuration magic, which is the kind of magic used to summon things. Surprise, alarming, I know, but as for a typical spell is it's not a not necessarily a an actual spell more like more like what uh, I'm not sure I suppose it's like a manifestation in a way of general of magical energy Oh, it's yeah. it's hard to describe. Which I get that's obviously kind of what a spell is, but mm, none of the named spells, at least. Well, if we're not, if anyone would understand magic, panel, and I do believe it would be you, and that's not exactly a compliment, but well, I'll take it as one. But we do have one proven way of breaking the chain. That is in fact true, yes. What if it didn't work when you tried to destroy it, right, Panlin? Mine's is only a firebolt. It's uh trivial honestly, but this uh your creation. I'm not sure I'm I've ever seen it. It's interesting. I, in fact, I didn't even know I could do it. I, I hid magic for so long. I, I knew I could create light, but nothing that powerful. And to be honest, I never felt like it was creating anything. Just tapping into something that was already there. Finally kind of smiles and, well, there you go. That's taken a lot. That takes a lot of people a long, long time to realize that's what magic's all about. <laughs> Pass him on the shoulder. You're a natural. Don't call me a natural. I'm really. Anyone can swing a hammer, am I right? I mean, not anyone. You kind of have anyone to have years worth of training. Um, I've I seen can't. a lot of people just can break lift fingers. Them. Exactly. Anyone can swing it, but swing it well. Well, that takes effort. There are certain kinds of attention I like, and this is not one of them. <laughs> well, hopefully once you're free of these chains, you will have less attention. Or, I mean... Well, <laughs> unless anyone has a bright idea, I suppose. If... I can't do it. Even when Jordan tries to touch them they're not tangible right like in any Correct. sense of the word no wait can address touch them though like touch touch them or are they still intangible i just can, can uh, touch well, your own chains pulling me back so there's at least some physical element but i'll reach out and i'll try and grasp one of the chain links uh you are hand. able to grasp it Extremely curious. Hmm. Where is it that they're kind of linking to his body? Is it just like rest? Like it's around his wrist and around his ankles. Does it look like a sort of clasp, like a manacle, or? Yep. That's exactly what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Now that I have a free hand, if I were to grasp the chain and try and use that same cantrip again instead of like just basically going all around it I could concentrate mm -hmm. even more with that yep before you uh, be a bit more effective than knocking me out yeah i would give you advantage on that roll that might that cancel myself out because of exhaustion i'm not sure that's on ability checks not saving throws so far as long as you don't get yep. another level of exhaustion. <laughs> yep, then you might be screwed. But hey, we can do this like five more times, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Got this, guys. 
All right. Hanlon's going to try and poke at the chain while Adris is holding it to see if that makes mm -hmm. change anything. Uh, it is now tangible. Oh. Intriguing. Interesting. I'll let go of the chain real quick. Wait. Uh, whatever Panlin was poking it with it passes straight through it. Oh, I was just using his finger. Um. There you go. Hi, Aunt Lois, baby. <laughs> you know. Is there... Serb, is there like a keyhole or anything <sighs> on those clasps? No, it's Damn. solid. It's a what solid is... circle with the chain coming out. No. Well, if there's no way to unlock it. We could try your spell again. Or now that we know we can touch it, we could try and have one of the others break it and see if that might save you the uh, distress, to call it, to say the least. Not me, Hamlet, of course. I, I don't have am mind. willing to try anything. This has been a very eye-opening past hour. Right, right, right. One of you Wait, I can try to cut strong it. strong arms. He kind of gestures flexing. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like going into full, like almost like, kind of almost like lecture mode in a way of like, getting everyone like stand around and all that. Mm -hmm. I want you, Adris, to like hold it two sides and hold it wide. I'm wondering now when he's doing that, who's kind of come over, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Who's all come over to like oh. listen to his mad rambling? And Jordan's oh. like listening to I can't leave. what you're doing. Yeah, Ular would be. Jordan, Jordan, come here. Mm -hmm. Dude, what, what, what's your weapon again? I've, I've got a bad memory. I have a longsword. Long sword. Can you see if you can touch the chain in between where he's holding it? With my hand? Or with the long sword, uh, with or with anything. both. Try actually try the sword. I want to see if the sword. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pull out my sword and see if I can touch it with the sword. Uh, the sword is able to be touched as long as Agis is holding it on both ends. Ha ha! Now we're getting somewhere. Ask well... any advice on breaking chains. You're the blacksmith. Don't know because I don't know if swords are particularly good. It'll blunt the edge, but on a real chain, I don't know what a magical chain would do. But I'm not sure Asa heard you. <laughs> Asa, any sort of advice on how to snap a chain? Angel. Cool. Right, well, I suppose if anyone else has any better ideas, hit it with the sword. As is taking a nap right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, unless you don't want to blunt your sword or anything. I mean, I can always sharpen it back up again. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to be the guy that puts pressure on everybody. This is causing me a lot of physical exertion. <laughs> that, yeah, right. that's fair. So that's true. Yeah, you can see uh, Adjust's arms start to, like, tremble. Okay, okay, I'm... Since we are all in agreement that I try to cut it and hope that I don't kill him through this, uh, I'll go ahead and try to cut it. On a metal chain? <laughs> well, I don't it's know. On a metal chain. Oh, well, it's magic? <laughs> oh. Does everyone, everyone else take back. a step back, <laughs> just in case? I'm sure it'll be totally safe. Everyone yeah, I'm else. sure nothing could go wrong. Back up five feet a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Layla, do you have more <laughs> healing spells available just in case? Or is Layla still here? Oh, is there typing? Yep. <laughs> Layla says a strong resounding. Oh. Uh... Uh... <laughs> that fills me with <laughs> so <laughs> much <laughs> belief. <laughs> <laughs> Do okay, good. <laughs> Swing it. Let's go. Swing it. Okay. Swing it down. And Loris' goggles to watch it. Road ro to hit. Okay. Okay. It's a. Uh... 12 plus 4 is a 16. I that still does say hit. DC is 14. If that's still yep. what we're using. 
Uh, that is. It's the okay. chain snaps, and Adris, another memory comes flooding back. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> uh, your choice of which one that we talked about. Let's just go down in order. Okay. If you want to describe it. Oh, okay. It's... It's a weird... It's almost weird to call it a memory that... Because it's not like I'm experiencing it again. It's just like the fact that it happened popped into my head just like a normal memory <laughs> would. But I'm not... I'm not going anywhere. I just suddenly have this almost ping in my mind like, oh, this is something that you now know happened. And like any other memory, it's it's not perfectly complete. It's not perfectly tangible. It's just flashes. You remember you were there, but you don't remember event by event. But what I do remember is the smell of the stew, the salt, the meat, the vegetables wafting up is I approached the boiling pot and I asked her, I asked my mother when it would be ready. She said, be patient. Wait, the, there's always a, there's always a perfect time. And something about the way she said time just stuck with me. There's always a perfect time. When it is ready, you will know. And then I'm back, and then I'm and then I'm back here because that's all. That's that's all I remember. And the rest of the party looks, and the chain has snapped, severed <gasps> cleanly in two. Are you all, all right? right? Yes, I... <laughs> Physically, I am alright, yes. He's dead. Is he dead? Mentally? <laughs> Someone poke. poke him? Okay, I, I poke. I mean, I assume he's still standing. I, he yeah, is still I standing. did not pass out this time, Guys, which... He's very tangible. I would call an improvement. I'm, like, poking your cheek right now. So I don't like Yes, no, I am real. <laughs> One poke is enough. It won't change on subsequent pokes. <laughs> And like kind of grabs okay, your okay. wrist and pulls out your arm and is like looking at it with a magnifying glass, looking for where the shackle was. Is the yeah, shackle what happened still to the there? part of the chain that was attached to me? Uh, it fell away, disappeared mm -hmm. into it, kind of like like dustified. Mm. <laughs> right. We continue on then. Yeah, uh, no reason to delay. The... Let's just get this over with. <laughs> okay. You don't need time for anything to relax? or I do not need time. With... Please, get this over with. <laughs> okay, you're fair enough. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll just grab both, I guess. I'll grab both of the chains on my legs now that I have two free hands. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, whoever would like to swing at them can. I guess for now. <laughs> That's just, just nope, my value, my life. <laughs> <laughs> Would Algar Algar like to swing at the chain? <laughs> Algar, you get Algar. one, I'll get the other. Uh, Adris, you watch as Algar towers towards you. <laughs> Unsheathes the giant great sword on his back. The chain, Algar, not me. <laughs> <laughs> he okay. nods and swings one handed down. Uh, I'm keen to roll for Algar. Got it. <laughs> oh my. Uh, what? What? The oh. Algar's <laughs> possessed. Oh. That's a pass, right? <laughs> um, 
I, why did that happen? Oh my. Roll 20 since I don't I, know. <laughs> it just rolled the damage. Didn't even roll. Oh no, it did. Wait. Yeah. What did it do? Oh my god. That's, <laughs> <I've>... <laughs> uh, no, it just rolled a 3 on the d20. And then oh yeah, I see it. Six. Oh. <laughs> Does he not have proficiency? <laughs> 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 Fucking. I think it's a bit broken, guys. <laughs> like I said, yeah, I'm gonna to let Am roll their dice. <laughs> yep. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, one So how's plus everybody six. else in the party feeling right now, guys? <laughs> as as Adra says that, you just see the giant black steel greatsword swing down between uh your arm and your leg and bury <laughs> itself in the snow. And the chain has uh, splintered once again. Yeah, with that much force, my leg is probably kicked back. <laughs> that much force, your yeah. leg is probably splintered too. <laughs> it... My apologies. <laughs> it reminds me of something. It reminds me of the time I tripped and fell on the stairs of the... Oh, what was it? The capital for wizards i was it was my first day i had enrolled they were gonna they were gonna show me how to how to do magic but they knew i had the ability for it and i wanted to study it i wanted to learn more but i never thought i'd actually make it to the capital i never thought it'd be anything for my life and i fell hmm. And it hurt. And then... And then she came by. Healed it. And this is the first time we met. Uh, can somebody get the other chain, please? Uh... <laughs> okay, I'll let Alcar swing again. He seems really enthusiastic. Rum roll, please. Hey. Once again, the black steel swings very rapidly between your arm and leg, shattering the chain. I think I, well, that's the last chain. I think I probably fall back, eh? Yeah. And I land on my back. Oh. Did, did, did we do it? Is that all? Uh, do we see anything? And you else? fall unconscious. Oh well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well. Uh. Go over and like tap his cheek a little bit. Address. You there? <laughs> Hello. John? He's still breathing. No. <sighs> Perhaps a bit of healing. Algar wishes to check the pulse. Uh, pulse is fine. There doesn't seem to be any damage. <laughs> Wait, let's just let me touch him. <laughs> <laughs> and Maybe it address. <clears throat> As you stir, you look around the room, um, sweat pouring down your face, and... You feel restrained once again, but this time with your hands behind your back, your legs bound and tied to the wooden chair that you're in. The low light of the dungeon around you is has been a familiar scene for the past week. <laughs> Layla, no, shush. Um, 
the guard who you have gotten accustomed to walks in. Oh, what have you got you're me awake. this time? <laughs> <clears throat> well, it would be a great help if you would actually tell us where the rebels are. And he, like, cracks his knuckles. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. That's a damn story for the seventh time. And he's going to raise an arm up and strike you in the face. Ow. <laughs> I'm putting on a brave face, but mm -hmm. it's, it's been a while. <laughs> I my my resolve is not what it was. But I'm gonna but what the brave face is there and I don't spit a little blood at him. It doesn't go far, it just kinda lands on my chin. Mm-hmm. We have information saying that you are closely associated with the rebels. I'm afraid whoever told you that is an error. Oh, really? And he he opens the door even wider, and you hear the familiar screams of a young woman that you know and love dearly. No. And then you wake up. Petros? And you're back in the snow. <gasps> Hello. I'm just Are like you alive? over your head, like <laughs> Jordana's yeah. also over your head, <laughs> over Cameron's like... head. Like... Yeah, like, <laughs> you see goggles, goggles and beards, and then fucking Jordane just stood away up off that. I'll never tell. Wait, what? Never tell what? Never... What? 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 Hey guys, what? you good? It hurt? Right. I. You yes, we we did it. Layla we uh... asked if she could touch you. I suppose. Fan's gonna move back and let him sit up. <laughs> Apparently, Algar's gonna yank you to your feet. Okay, first of all, how dare you? You know who I am associated with. Do we? Who? I. The. Wait. Now the the Arl. Surely, still. Right. Right. The Arl. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You guys want to go to the cave? Remembered. Seems odd that you remembered some for the other three. Um. No. Just Nothing at all, eh? <laughs> just some strange dreams. Um. Hmm. But you were awake. Ish. Some strange daydreams. Then I don't know the nature of magic. You no. mentioned in the when we cut the other chain, that you were being taught magic. Did you... they say did that you... out loud? <laughs> did you? Did you? Oh, I thought you did. Uh, my assumption is that you were recapping your memories out loud. But if not, that's that totally fine. In that case, I said it out loud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll stick to that, and I will own it, and I will adapt. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm afraid you may be correct. There is perhaps more to my story than even I myself know, but I, for one, am very glad to be free of these restraints. And, sir, do I feel any compulsion to return to the Orthrope other than the normal what is going on? I should go home. <laughs> Uh, no. There's no magical compulsion to return back to Viorthrope. So, you're what? good to continue now? I 
I my apologies. I'm absorbing so much new information after <laughs> so long of doing the same thing over and over again. I've almost forgotten how to synthesize it effectively. <laughs> I believe whatever whatever chain tied me to the ortho also affected my mental state compelling me to stay there now i do want to at some point return there because it is the orders from the yarl wait do i'll have to give that some thought <laughs> i do you remember the yarl's face no no i i had some brief glimpses into the past but just barely re recollections, nothing like like rips or tears into a curtain that was blocking off something much greater. Seems. Which is very, very small, just insubstantial, and I don't. Hmm. And I'm going to have to ruminate on that. But we have m more important things, and truly, I do not feel that same that same feeling. Well, that's a damn good start. Dia, what kind of time is it now? Because I know we've spent like a couple mm. hours faffing about in the woods. <clears throat> yeah. Um. I would say mid evening, so it's six, seven. Ugh. Right. How long would How it take us? Make our way? Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, how about we make our way to the cave and set up camp at the mouth for the night, or maybe just for some time. We are very close to the cave, right? Yeah, yeah about half an hour. Half an hour, okay. Cool. I... It is winter, so nightfall will be soon. I would, just out of simple fear for the fog prefer to uh, take residence in the cave than re risk returning back to town at night and that fog return. Yes, and we also do goblins. still have the staff as well. True. True. The goblins implies that their fog was localized. As if True. it wasn't out here. Curious. Very curious. Um. So, go rest up at the cave, explore it in the morning. I suppose yes. that would be in order. I, I understand that I have been all of your primary concern over the past little bit, but I do encourage us to forge on. We have a greater issue at hand, and we will deal with Mia in time, but for now, let's go. See what we can do about this town disappearance situation. Yes, indeed. Well, at least I don't have to carry you anymore. <laughs> and I gonna wouldn't start oppose it though. I, I just want to be clear. Mm, 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 you know, you. I think your legs were. Neither would I, now. to be fair. Right, for sure. I'm, so, I, I am so tired. <laughs> uh, mm. Half an hour to the Jordan's cave. Jordan's looking like I kind of feel bad. <laughs> As they kind of start trekking off, Hanlon's just suspiciously kind of eyeing Adris a little. Like what? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll just follow right. the group. Okay. So you guys start making your way towards the cave. And you reach it without any problem. Nice. <clears throat> now, Merrick said, and let me recall, go to the cave, find water, bring it back. I don't know what water specifically, and I don't actually know where to bring it back to, but if nothing else, it's the start. Certainly a start. I mean, 
Oh shit. I'm assuming just back oh, to Merrick. I think that's a fair assumption. We do. I wish that I could say I am fit to explore the cave, but that first blast, it took a lot out of me. I may need no. to. Yes. I am also quite expended myself. I assume all of our magically inclined need to rest for the night. Is anyone undamaged and willing to stand guard? I can take a watch. I can join you for a bit. I'm not injured, but I do need some time to recover. I'm just a bit tired. So be it. Okay. Uh, to... So you guys make your way. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you guys mm. are keep watch, set up watch. Algar just Algar. said, everyone sleep. I will keep watch. Are you sure? Don't you need to sleep at all? Fire is in order. Algar says, yes, of course, I'm sure. I'm here for protection, not relaxation. Fair play. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm going to wander into the cave um, really quickly because I would like to not be asked any more questions. I will. <laughs> I didn't actually bring any like bedrolls or anything because I was expecting to be back by the end of the day. <laughs> but I will find the <clears throat> most comfortable rock and lay down on it with my backpack as a pillow. Uh, I would like to look around the cave and make sure everything's clear before we just set up camp inside. Can't hear you, already sleeping. Yes. Asa says, um, address, take mine. I don't know what mine refers to. <laughs> bedroll, I assume? Yeah, bedroll. Oh, okay. I was going to be very, um, like, closed off and dignified, but yes, I actually will get up, grab the bedroll, and just, like, quietly walk back. Layla stays by Algar. But yeah, if we look around just the entrance okay. of this cave, like, does it seem clear? Is there any yep. thing that looks dangerous? Um, nothing seems dangerous. It is very smooth ice and like fresh ice off of uh yeah it's just very smooth and very nice ice so like the whole cave is like <laughs> interior ice ice, ice cave yes <laughs> oh okay well i will choose the most comfortable ice to sleep on <laughs> okay um, as you walk in, are you walking at normal speed? I do not see any reason why not. Okay. Uh, please make a dexterity. <laughs> uh, as name is Roll on your ass. <laughs> Love that. Please roll low. Really? <laughs> why are we praying upon my downfall? <laughs> We've made it this far. <laughs> <laughs> Step saving throw. <laughs> That's not great. It's not terrible. <laughs> that is not enough. <laughs> and uh, you slip on your ass, and you are technically prone now. <laughs> this doesn't get Joke's off. on you, Ice Cave. That's the exact position I want it to be in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Helen just swings his big backpack off his back. Takes off the bedroll, rolls it out, takes out the covers, throws that over, and eventually just kind of lies down, tinkers for a little mm -hmm. bit, and then tries to sleep himself. Okay. So asks if he can look around the cave. 
Uh, how far into the cave are you wanting to go? Esso says, uh... <laughs> and then 15. 15 feet? Mark. <laughs> <laughs> um... As you look in, you see that it's very sleek. It's very wide. A lot wider than you thought it would be. Uh, no, we're not going over 15 years in one session. That's just not going to happen. Time jump. <laughs> Time jump. No. Not planned for. We're not doing that. Um, I'll wake up from a coma. <laughs> you can see that it still extends beyond what your dark vision can see. Uh, in 15 feet. Would anyone else like to do anything? Um... I think your date's gonna plop down and also try to get comfortable. Yep. Okay. Like, wait, so we're not very far into the cave, right? We're just like no. kind of right on the edge. Kind of, Is there yeah, a spot yeah. where there's not ice on the ground? And no, it's more everywhere like... is covered by ice. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. And just go ahead and slowly lay down and be like, this is very uncomfortable, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> do we have okay. to do this? I plan to keep that staff active through the night. I can hold on to it as they sleep. I don't move around much, so... With a shot, I suppose. I'm gonna, like, hold it like a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And with that, the first watch commences. Um, Algar, can you please roll a d12? Oh boy. Yeah, that's you. Yep, that's that's you, Algar. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay. The first hour of the watch passes peacefully. As far as you can tell. Um, how long are you going to wait to wake anyone up? Are you going to try and go the whole night? the whole night. Cool. Okay. Uh... No. Not gonna allow that, Asa. Some fights out going off somehow. Okay. Uh, then Algar, I'm going to have you roll for, um, three more, and then Asa, you're going to roll for four.
I'm dreaming a about penguin. a hole on my butt. <laughs> a penguin, what are you dreaming about? Um, probably about not really terribly much. Just sitting thinking about his newest contraption that he's building, plans. Mm -hmm. Uh. Magical chains. Yep. Uh, different potential runes that he could try and carve. Nothing of deep import. Okay. Algar, as the first night approaches, um... You hear the jingling, or sorry, not as the first night. As the first hour comes to an end, you hear the jingling of a bell and a older, frail voice muttering to themselves. Ooh, I, I need some people, people to trade. People to trade with. Hmm. I know there's a town around here somewhere. And as you look up uh, towards the entrance of the cave, you see this older gentleman with a cane step, reach the edge of the cave, and take one more step. And they fall about 20 feet onto the ground face first. Uh, I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, fuck everyone? Great. Yep, everyone who is sleeping. <sighs> We don't Question. auto fail by virtue is of being this, unconscious. Is Correct. This, a spell? this is not a spell. No. Okay. Lovely. How? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> how? How? <laughs> we are rolling so well tonight. Uh, yes, you too, okay. Asa. Um, and Layla. I got a seven. And Layla. Okay, uh, Adris and Pan, then, you two are sound asleep. <laughs> this actually works to my advantage, because I still need to get that long rest. <laughs> that is true. Same. <laughs> um, Uar, Layla, Asa, and Algar, uh, you are all quite awake, and notice this strange old gentleman with long gray hair, a cane, and a gigantic backpack uh, go splat on the cave entrance. Oh. I must have missed a step. He looks up and sees Algar. Oh. Hello. Would you like to trade? Car is tight. That's Algar tap typing, by the way, for people. Algar also tap dances, so it echoes nicely. Very flexible. Yeah, I know. Algar tap dances threateningly. Algar has many skills. Tap dances threateningly towards you. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, you gonna take oh, a fight yeah. with like a seven foot guy that tap dances? Yeah, da da da. Yeah, da da da. <laughs> oh, oh uh, you don't have anything to change. Oh, that's a shame. He, you see him like walk around the cave. Uh, what about you? And he points a cane at Uar. I don't have much. I have gold, but nothing else I can really part with at the moment. Oh, gold's fine for right now. What are you and selling? And he waves his cane up. Ooh, potions. Um, scrolls, information. Yeah, Asa, you can roll. Um, 
I have some weapons, but it, he gestures to Algar. Clearly, you have more than enough protection here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he reaches into his backpack. What are you in the mood for, dearie? Well, healing potions are always helpful. Healing potions, hmm. I have some. Not much. I don't prefer to roll it to uh, have them. But he reaches in to his backpack and uh, he pulls out a very tall container of red liquid. Um, I forget this. He sets it on the ice and it starts like <laughs> sliding forward a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> grabs and pulls it back. Uh, hmm. Is this the only know you want? Um, it's the only thing I can really think of at the moment. Okay, this is totally fine. Just, yeah, getting so boring nowadays. Sorry. Um, <laughs> if we weren't about to go into a dangerous it? cave, uh, how much? Who looks at it? Sides in it from like side to side. Puts it up. Ten gold. Done. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And he slides it along the ice Good and God. it kind of <laughs> <laughs> down towards you. Okay. I will carefully walk over to hand him the ten gold. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. I've not had gold like this before. No. And he stuffs it in his bag. Not from yes. around these parts. Um, no, I travel a lot. Hmm. Lots of fun. I imagine so. Uh, Asa, with your 18, he's very eccentric. Um, He has kind of a not wild but chaotic look in his eyes. He doesn't seem like he wants to hurt you guys, but he's just someone who's seen a lot of stuff and doesn't and can't describe it all. <clears throat> uh, And so, Ugar, you now have a potion of greater healing. Ooh. With enough liquid for three charges. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, yes. A specific belt, you say? Um, let me scrummage in here. And to everyone who's looking at him, you see him open up his bag even further, and you see him walk down into his bag. Oh. One moment. Uh, and he, you see him crawl back up, and his head just puts out. Um, I don't have any belts. So sorry. Is there anything else you'd like? 
I do have some shields. Not fond of shields. That's fair. But I mean, when you have this shield in, uh, in your party, kind of makes sense. And he gestures with his cane again to... Uh, at... Algar. I think I'd nudge whoever's closest to me that's not awake. Uh, probably Penguin. Uh, Penguin, you are able to wake up. <sighs> what? What is, what is it? You got a visitor. Selling sure. mysterious <sighs> wares, if you're interested. Hello. Do you, do, you do you want any shields? Magical weapons. Oh, one second. And he crawls back down. <laughs> This is fascinating. <laughs> Indeed. What, uh, what kind of things has he sold already? Kind of well, I've got there. a... What I hope is a healing potion, and I'll hold up the tall <laughs> healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> it, in all honesty, it's like a uh, ale size healing potion. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Might have your address identify that later if we can, just to make sure. Yes, 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 don't want to. Mm, don't trust people, wanderers like this. Yes. Fascinating bag, though. Don't know if I've seen a bag of holding quite that large. Cars back up. Oh, um... Magical weapon. Uh, I have this dagger. Um, don't know if it's magical. Let's shiny. Let's sharp. It will kill. <laughs> magical you like weapon. It? I don't know if it's magical. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. And he like places it on the ice. <clears throat> Yeah. What I inspect your bag there? Interesting. Not to buy, I just want to take a look. You want to look at my bag? Oh, yes. Can okay. I look at your goggles? Jordan, make sure he doesn't just run off with them, please. <laughs> I immediately like... wake up because I was asleep. And I'm like, oh, what? What, are we, what am I doing? Jordan heard his name and just bolts up right. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? We have a visitor. Oh, hi, hello. Yeah. You're the athletic one. He wants to look at my goggles. I don't want him running off. <laughs> he takes off his goggles. <laughs> Walks over tentatively, holds them out. Mm -hmm. Not magical at all. They just can extend. Hmm. He like reaches up from the bag, grabs your goggles. I'll be right back. Watts down. Oh, oh. <gasps> Did I well... just? I'm gonna look over the top of the bag. Mm hmm. Uh, you see, like, a, a whole <laughs> workshop down there, and it's just littered with random items, potions have broken, swords have been, like, shattered in half, spears, etc. Like, it's just a complete mess, and there's, like, a few tables, and, like, there's even surprise, like, out of the corner of your eye, you can see, like, a forge down there. Um, man's got a whole fucking house there in his bag. <laughs> Jordan right now like... is just watches this man go back down into the bag and just has like mouth wide open <laughs> like what <laughs> am I witnessing? He's gonna turn. Mm. As I'll have a look in just a quick second. He's gonna turn back to the bag and just take a deep breath. <laughs> and he's gonna poke his head in. Mm -hmm. Does it? Can I breathe? <laughs> yeah, you're able to breathe. <laughs> Uh, it, you know how 
magic like feels when you're casting it like it kind of tingles and you feel that extra power surging through you <clears throat> it kind of like goes to your head and gives you a head rush okay can i see the man the back man the man of the back yeah yep you can see the man he's still walking over to his uh table uh just kicking swords and stuff out of the way not really Diana, caring where they are with those i worked hard on them yeah 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 give me a minute and you see him like tinker like grab like some mechanical arm and basically in less than a minute your goggles are apart and lying on the table plays hmm. into the bag like <laughs> desperately like hey what are you doing to those shush 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 i'm busy no, no, working shush. they're my goggles you bastard yeah 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 and he like pokes your chest with his cane i'll be finished in a minute leave me you better put those back together and in record speed like you don't even see his hands move that's how fast he's moving. Your goggles are back in perfect condition. Hey, ah, so that's how you did it. Yes. Yes. I Interesting. Can. Say, I improved them a little bit. Eye on but... you, it, what? No, yep. I don't improve them. He's going to look over the goggles like meticulously. <laughs> <laughs> um. When you look through them, uh, you can see. Do you put them back on? Yeah, it was eventually I'll yeah. kind of look through the lenses again. All right. Uh, when you look through the lenses, you look down at the like piles of swords. You can kind of see like magical outlines. Oh, oh shit! Gonna climb out. Asa, Asa, show me that dagger. Looking at the uh, uh, ass's dagger. Mm -hmm. Yep. Has that got the aura as well? It does have an aura. Yep. R right. Uh, so... This one has a very dark purple aura. Huh. Is that associated with any schools of magic, particularly? Not a school of magic, no. Cool. Right. Uh, Asa, you're. I'm. If what I'm understanding is correct, I believe that your dagger is indeed magical. And so are my goggles now. I don't know what it does, but I. I. With. The, uh, takes them off and hands them to Asa. <laughs> yeah, you might just need to look through one lens. My, uh, they're not that. They're not size for you, big folk. <laughs> He's gonna look back. I'm gonna look back over the bag. Is is he just there or is he just gone or what? <laughs> uh, he's climbing back up currently. Is that all? Yeah. So you're oh. back. Yes. It, he's kind of look, he's kind of examining it now closely. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> he's looking over. Is it some? Well, my understanding is the bag of holdings can't maintain a a breathable atmosphere. So what is this? This is far bigger than any bag of holding I've ever heard of, so... Oh, this? This is my home. Oh. It doesn't have a name. I just made it. You... Who are you? <laughs> oh, I have many names. People always forget my name, so... Right, right, right. What would you like to be called? I don't know. What do you want to call me? That's normally how people remember. Fair, fair, fair. Turn to the others and... Do you have a, a name in mind? 
I mean, I've I've been called the collector, the traveler, the merchant, a bunch of all different names. Not many adjectives are like job titles, you know. R right. I mean, uh, I suppose the merchant works. The merchant, yeah, sure. How did you come across here? Where do you like oh. hail from? Sure, you are a very peculiar individual. My, uh, thank you. I think everyone's a peculiar individual. <laughs> In uh, where I hail from? Uh, the north. I have got to see the north that everyone's talking about. Um, I suppose. Thank you. Of uh, course. Any, anyone else got anything to ask the uh, the merchant? Oh yes, you. But the dagger. Do you want it? Yes. Perfect. That will be. Uh, 27 gold, uh, 5 silver, and 9 copper. Yes, 27. Uh, a rare metal that's not around anymore. You say you're a collector, yes? You like yes. strange things. Will this yes. knock anything off the price? And he's going to pull out a lot, some Electrum coins. Hmm. Aren't really used much around here as far as I'm aware. No, they're not. Mostly to the west, right? Where, uh, where I'm from, indeed, yes, they're used mm. a bit more. <clears throat> How many are you offering? Uh, I can spare six maybe knock some some off of the I'll the take five five a deal is a deal and he quickly before you can react quickly takes five electrum out of your hand and just shots it down his bag he doesn't even try and organize it how is he going to find that later I suppose, um... Do you say this in character or no? Oh no, a hundred percent. It's like completely befuddled by how this thing is happening right now. Asa said, "Oh, okay, I'll find it in a decade or two. It's not a problem." That's a... what's the As... point of taking it then? Asa said, "I'll give you twenty-five. Oh, perfect. I suppose, um, wake up, somebody wake Thank up, you. uh, address. Let me ask if he wants anything from this merchant. Oh. I really address. should be going. People to see. Well, it, was, it was nice meeting you. And he okay. zips up his bag. <laughs> And begins walking through the forest. This time without his cane. Did he leave his cane or is it in the bag? <laughs> no, he has his cane like stuffed like between his backpack and his bag. Okay. He's just walking off normally now. What a free cane. <laughs> Jordan's gonna turn to Pamela and be like, how did all of that fit in there? Panlin is absolutely gobsmacked looking at his goggles now. He's like... Uh, looks up. Oh, so, sorry. It's, um, I have... Well... Enchantment of some sort. Obviously, that's, that's saying, the, saying the least. But um, um, he's just like stroking his beard and like... 
deep in thought. He's like, well, mm -hmm. so he said to him, um, bags of bags of holding tend to not be breathable for uh, us living folks. Um, there's stories and tales, but uh, nothing concrete. Uh, usually, if you stick your head in one, you've got as much breath as you had before you went in. He's just like racking his brain for anything about livable bags of holding. That am I? <laughs> am I aware of anything of such no, a thing? You are not. Not at all. Yeah, don't think so. Just <sighs> that is. If <sighs> that could be the arcane discovery of a century. And that man seems to have, I mean, he said he'd find it in a couple of decades, so time doesn't mean much to him, clearly. He's just, he, apparently just absolutely, just, <laughs> like, at, blown away. At some point, Palin's ramblings, Jordan goes like, I don't know what he's talking about anymore, <laughs> so I'm just gonna lay back down with the staff and try to go back to sleep. Okay. It's very much like just a, a fixation dump of just like talking about like years of research into bags of holding and how they work in. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eventually realize that everyone else has stopped listening is uh, curious. <laughs> and he's going to try and go sleep himself. <laughs> okay. Uh, so everyone's able to fall back asleep. Um, asking if they can uh, uh, understand the dagger. Oh. Yeah. Um Yeah, you can try and understand it. Uh give me a perception check. Or not perception, investigation. But as you continue to look over the dagger and Algar watches out uh in the forest keeping an eye and ear out for any old strange men that might wander through. Um, a roll of thunder echoes across the plains. And Asa and Algar in particular hear it. And the rest of you hear it, but it's in your sleep. Oh no, no dragons, please. A dragon? Why would there be a dragon? <laughs> His thunder sounds like a war in my dream. Be? Ah, gotcha. Alright. Uh, the thunder sounded far away, Asa. Probably a good ten miles. I think that probably works itself into my dream as someone farting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what um, I was dreaming of, but that was now included in it. Okay. Uh, Asa, you look out in that direction. Uh, you see a streak of lightning come down. Seems like the start of a storm, to be honest. Uh, not by you guys, no. There are clouds in the distance, yep. Okay. As you sit back and relax and look over your dagger, uh, can you roll me a investigation? Uh, 11. Um, the dagger's hilt and material look very foreign to you. <clears throat> it's nothing you've worked with before. 
even the wood used for the handle and the hide don't seem like anything you've ever seen or interacted with before. Even as a blacksmith, it's completely foreign to you. You're going to throw the dagger at the ground in front of you. Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. Uh, are you going to fall back asleep or no? No? Okay. So that will count as a short rest for you, and the rest of the night goes by smoothly, and everyone is able to wake up. Yeah. I just, you're going to be the first mm -hmm. one to wake up. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I feel very refreshed. And then I look around and everyone's still asleep. <laughs> I'm going to kind of, already knowing that I've slipped once, like, very carefully make my way to the mouth of the cave. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it, would I, if I looked out the cave, would I clock that it's storming? Like, or did that stop? Uh, it stopped. It is no longer storming. It is no longer storming. Okay. Um, Asso says, good morning, sleepyhead. And good morning to you as well, Asa. I um I had a very I had a very restful I had a very restful sleep and am now ready to enter the cave. I have no idea what's going on, Asa. That's At this good. point. Panlin also wakes up. Oh, morning. Morning. <sighs> Night went by with no complications. Apart from the uh, the traitor, no. Merchant. The traitor? Who betrayed us? <laughs> what? No, the, the <laughs> merchant. <gasps> the we merchant betrayed us? Who's the merchant? We had a chance to wake you, did we? Ah, shit. Ah, uh, some fella came by last night and uh, upgraded me goggles, gave Asa that knife, and I went to wake you and ask if you wanted anything, but before I could, he just said I he had to go and fucked off, so. I believe that you saw this, but you have to imagine how this sounds. Did oh, nobody... I know it sounds insane. Did nobody even think to wake me? <laughs> I know, as I said, I went to, and then he just said he had to go. I swear it. <laughs> the others will back me up. Well, will hopefully back me up. Hamlin, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 look, show me your dagger. I... I'm going to be honest, I was not paying attention to the daggers Asa did or did not have. <laughs> Asa says, I mean, someone of your status wouldn't need any simple trinkets. Holds up their dagger. I suppose not. Panlin, 
I have a theory. I think you were... I think there was a false memory implanted in you of the night. And now you are treating that as though it was reality, when in fact it never truly happened, and now you're basing your future off that memory. Well, hang on. Uh, Ular got a portion that they didn't have before, so... Hell, even Algar will back me up. Algar, didn't you see him at all? It would be really funny if Algar said no. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Algar stands wordless, staring at us. <laughs> a statue. Algar's <laughs> actually been asleep the entire just time. His eyes that. have just been open. <laughs> like fucking Gandalf. Yeah. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my Do head. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. I am Algar. I am the tap dancer. Algar tap dances menacingly at the corner of the room. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hanlon, the reason I bring up this theory, and this might seem crazy, is because I actually believe that might be what happened to me. So you believe... Not about, not about the little man, about, you know, everything. <laughs> he actually wasn't that wee either. He had a big house in a bag. <laughs> I... He had a... He, he, a house? It baffles me. I am still trying to figure it out. If uh, I am very concerned about its existence, to be honest. <laughs> what it could mean for the frontier of magic. But, uh, ignore that. That's my own theories and ramblings. Anyway, what were you saying about him? Um... Asso says, so brainwashed. Question mark. Potentially... It's almost like Sir, can I roll like history to see like what my first memory actually is? Sure. Or insight or whatever. Crawling your way out of the womb. So you're just really wants to use his history proficiency. I got mm -hmm. expertise in history, and I really want to use it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know the button for that. That was really not good. 15. It ended good. It didn't start good. Oh, well. Mm. Your first memory. Like, other than the four that I got last mm -hmm. night. Um, probably your dad holding you as you sat, as um, he told you stories about his adventures. Oh. Yeah, I meant, I meant, I meant in regards to my, my experience of the Orthrope, but that's going to shatter me. <laughs> <laughs> that's... <clears throat> so, what, uh, what memories There's... are you suggesting were planted? I don't, I don't think anything was planted. I think there was a sector of my life that was blocked off, and then. It continued, and as as it continued, I built backwards with the information I had to, I guess, construct a construct a reality just to rationalize the fact that this is what was happening. But now, I think. I think that's fake, and if that's fake, then all of all of what I know could be a lie. I don't. Maybe I'm not friends with the Jarl. Maybe I'm not from the North. 
I don't know where I'm from, actually. I... I, I don't know anything, really. I well... Think my life started in Viorthro. Obviously it didn't, but what I know about it. At the end of the day, this might sound harsh. Gives a damn where you came from. We can figure that out, that bit out later, but I think for right now, I think you might honestly be better worrying more about what you want to do now. I, I get it sounds harsh, but... No, I think you're right. At some point, maybe I will try and unveil the curtain instead of poking holes in it. But the fact is, I still lived two and a half years of a life that I remember, and in that time, I grew attached to a town. And the residents of that town disappeared. And <clears throat> I, am, I am a man with the knowledge potentially to bring them back, so... What does it matter what I what 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 I was, who I was? Exactly. What matters right now is what I need to do. I think so. It's not about what anyone else wants you to do, it's what you want to do. What you what your what feels right to you. And if that's bringing back the, the people of Yorthrop, and that's exactly what we'll damn well do. Well. And yes, that... That is what I want to do right now. And it may be a short-term thought, but... I've got, I've got plenty of time to figure the rest out along the way. Exactly. <clears throat> I think I can trust term. you, Panlin. And in fact, I think I can trust probably everyone here because they would not let me leave if they didn't trust me. They wouldn't allow the chains to be severed. They would grab me. And that was where the disconnect was, I think. No one would trap me and then free me as well. So I don't know who, I don't know who did this to me, but I don't think it's someone in this cave. You know what? If we stick together, and if we want to keep going and keep figuring out things, eventually, we can help you. We can help you figure out what bastard did this to you. We can figure out why. And all that can be answered. But only if that's what really what you want. No um, point in going exploring your previous life if you don't care. But well, I need to know. There are things I need to know. I I had parents. I had a wife, maybe, and. There were bad people. I don't know. I I can't tell you what, but there were. There were that there are some bad people in my past, and maybe. Maybe they are the ones that. Put this. Curse on me. As much as I hate to call it a curse, it seems so. Magical. <clears throat> well. That's all for the future right now. Let's go. Let's We've go save Hunter. Couple. We've all got a couple of skeletons in our closet anyway. What's one more? Exactly. You have skeletons in your closet? It's a it's an expression. I <laughs> Your closet just has like the others. Sorry, your closet has skeletons in them. What? 
Is there is there like flesh attached to the just the bones you kept the bones? <laughs> it's an ex <laughs> audibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a figure of speech. It's Let's just wake the others. I'm keeping an eye on you about this skeletons thing. I don't quite trust I it. I don't even have a closet. <laughs> My bag, <laughs> the massive bag that I carry everywhere. Are there skeletons in your bag? No, there aren't skeleton. <laughs> no, there aren't. I just—I don't understand why you brought up skeletons. <laughs> oh, let's just wait. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even Walk have around. a closet. <laughs> Can I walk around and start trying to raise the other? <laughs> oh man. Dorothy, wake up. He has skeletons. <laughs> who, who? I mean, everyone has skeletons. What do you mean? <laughs> what? Has skeletons? You have bones, right? <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you mentioned your. Oh, <laughs> oh who keeps skeletons in their closet? That's, that's exactly too obvious of a place to put them. Wait, Asa, no, no one's done an intelligence check on him. Oh, Jesus! What's up? Oh. <clears throat> Asa is in shock at how you have been running the town for the past two and a half years. <laughs> I didn't put any skeletons anywhere, that's for sure. <laughs> well, how would you know? Don't do this to me, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> You've forgotten. Oh, how would you know? Gaslight the man and the pig skeleton. No! <laughs> Did I put a skeleton in my closet? <laughs> I, I cast made a illusion to make a skeleton appear. <laughs> skeleton! <laughs> no. You're not in the closet! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need to minor illusion of closet. <laughs> I don't even have minor illusion. This is spells left. Layla, yeah. Layla walks over to Adris and whispers, There's skeletons in everyone. Oh man. I would like to. <laughs> Oh, not having this conversation right now, actually. <laughs> um, Agis, please make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh no! no. Uh, skeletons. Just gaslight They're this coming man. for you. Make a gaslight saving throw. We gaslight like check. Robots. You cannot fool me. <laughs> there are no skeletons in me. <laughs> I, I don't have bones. You fool. Ske bones are on skeletons, not humans. Yeah, humans don't even have skeletons. <laughs> they don't? My fucking stomach hurts from laughing. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the two most, like, the two <laughs> highest intelligence members of the party and it's like, I where are the skeletons? <laughs> you won't very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Anyways, moving oh. on. Uh, <laughs> are y'all going into the <laughs> cave? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, everyone is awake. Yes. We will take it. Take it slow. Oh, so we can don't... we? <clears throat> Before we go, um, ten minutes. Could I'll turn to Panlin and Address? Could one of you identify this potion I got from that merchant last night, just to be sure it's actually oh. a health potion? Uh, yes, I'd be fine for that. He takes out the magnifying glass that still have that still has Adras's pearl on it. He's <clears throat> gonna spend, I... spend ten minutes and uh, just examine the potion for a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, during this ten minutes, you see uh, Algar just doze off, and the loudest snoring you have <laughs> ever heard. Oh, that snoring. It really like reverberates around the chamber. Like grandpa area. snoring. Oof. You you didn't let Algar stay awake the entire night, correct? 
Aye, that was of his own voli volition, I believe. Okay. <laughs> right. I mean... Next time you can, can try to tell them no. So. <laughs> Feels rather short-sighted of him, is all I'll say about that. Layla, you have um, a stopwatch. Apparently, Luke has a stopwatch <laughs> and says, "Hold on, guys. About Give him about minutes. twenty more minutes. He'll be I'll fine." going to do a long rest in thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, so you cast identify. Um. Right. Yep. Yep. Just uh, on the uh, the portion, but it's a ritual cast, so yeah. One sec. <clears throat> I'd like oh. to cast identify on the skeleton. Which one? Cast, identify. Still there? Cast identify on Pylon's bag. It's got a very strong <laughs> necromantic reading. <laughs> okay. Uh yes, it is a um potion of healing. A greater potion of greater healing. Cool. Nice. Right. With three charges. Sick. That's quite a potent three one. Three charges. Make mm -hmm. sure not to drink it all in one. Yeah. For a tank. Oh, I think while he's doing yeah. the identify, um, mm -hmm. I would be like, just my instinct writing my daily letter to the Yarl. <laughs> okay. Uh, but what are you doing? Out loud. <laughs> I just started like, oh. <laughs> dear the Yarl, you would not believe the day I've had. <laughs> Jordan's going to look over our address like he's <laughs> completely lost his mind. In a way, I have. <laughs> Address. What are you doing? Well, I f figure it's a good idea to keep the Yarl updated on all of the shenanigans. I. Is it? We don't even know if you've met the Yarl. Or know him. Well, where are the letters going? To whoever put that magic on you, I assume. I'm... Yeah, maybe don't write one updating about your current condition. There, there's like a delivery person, right? Like that comes to the Orthrope. Yeah, or like a messenger or whatever. Yep. So you probably actually wouldn't have <clears throat> written a lot since the blizzard. It would probably just be. Yeah. No, I don't think I would have written anything because I know there's no shot it's going out. Mm -hmm. uh, except for the one I left on the table itself, but I guess well I, I just they're going somewhere, right? I suppose I mean, if they don't continue to be in your grasp, they are elsewhere. Exactly I mean, I have a stamp that provides the royal seal. How? Who else would they be going to? Who, well, as I said before, that. Even if, here's what I posit to you. We don't know that the Jarl is a bad man. We just know I don't really know him that well I, I think I've... it pays to keep the leader of your region updated um, but if he is a bad man and you're updating him or if those letters aren't even ending up in the Yarl's hands then what's the point I okay this may be residual 
memories of the past or my fake memories of the past talking but just because he might have cursed me doesn't make him a bad guy did you do anything warranting cursing i have no idea once again that's you know yeah. no memory that's right yeah <laughs> forgot sorry <laughs> Aren't we supposed to be exploring the cave? Well, Maybe yeah, so we I just don't write to... the letter, explore the cave, and then you can write the letter later. I mean, like... Well, sure, I just couple of we hours had some time while Panlin was examining this potion. I just... For efficiency's sake, of course. No, do whatever your heart tells you to do, Adris. Thank you. Dear the Jarl. <laughs> Please, just not out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll save it for another day. You've killed art, really. Have you even read my letters? They are eloquent. You've never written me one, sadly. That's true. We don't know each other. Yeah. All, I, all I know true. about you is that... Wait. Jordan, Ular, you know each other, correct? No. No. But you're both from Moido. Just because someone is from this is a large place. country. This is very large, very spread out. Right, but wait, Moido's a country? Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. As you might imagine, I do not have a great working reference of oh, you locations. Know... Oh, so you know nothing? <laughs> oh well... no. Why did well, you I mean, I was, I was kind of just building cave? off assumptions. I, <laughs> I knew people are from Moido, but I don't know. They didn't, they didn't specify more than that, so Moido seems like a city. Moido oh. is a neighboring country. What? I mean, it's a country? It's a country. We just went over that, didn't we? <laughs> yes. Um, does anybody have a map of the uh, world? Are you feeling all right? Not on hand, no. <laughs> and I check to see if I have a map of the world on me. <laughs> <laughs> Would it um, be fair to say Panlin might have some kind of map, given that he's kind of here exploring? Both of you can roll a d100. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if it's a 67, I get a map. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eighty-seven. Panglin, no, and uh, Jordan, no. Damn. Jordan, you're close. It was a ninety or above. I would have given him a map. I'm almost starting to believe that my entire working knowledge of how the universe operates has just become based on what other people have told me. DM, during this time we're waiting for Algar to wake up. Can I also start ritual casting, detect magic? Sure. Cool. Takes out like a small little contraption that's almost looks like a sort of cylinder with a handle and then like a mm -hmm. mast that comes up. And you kind of just fit in with it for a bit. I mean, when we get back, I'm sure we can find a map somewhere, maybe. Well, Jarthrop is very small, remember? It's. Maybe we have a map. I might be able to draw out a rudimentary one for you. There you go. My worldview is. I'm sorry. I don't. Shattered? I don't know how to explain this that well. I, I was telling Panlin before, but there is something behind the. Behind the veil it took place two and a half years ago that was put into place and I can see little gaps but genuinely everything I everything I know is what I have learned I believe I, I think that's how knowledge works all honesty yes but now imagine only having learned right. two and a half years worth of things so you're like two years old. 
Well, let's not say that, because <laughs> clearly I am not. You have a very narrow worldview. That seems more accurate, but also Ask feels insulting. Baby. It's unavoidable if you can't remember anything previous, past the previous two years, other than bits and pieces. But perhaps with time, more of it will come back. In that case, I would like to, I would like to learn. Maybe not now, but as we travel, if any of you are up for it, I think. Just, just, just relearn. Shake any foundations that I had that may be incorrect and I, mean, I dare say maybe pull back that curtain. Ask questions, it will answer. I mean, okay. So, what's this skeletons in closets? Like? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> listen. <laughs> um, is is Pamela done with the ritual casting? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of pulls a few more levers, and you hear like a ching as these three lo or these um five little sort of smaller spindles almost raise up the, the main pole and start spinning around and it emits like a little mm, sort of humming sound. Ah, working. Got it. What are we talking about? Skeletons. Always skeletons. <laughs> um, he's a baby. Anyway. What? what <laughs> uh, this, is, um, this is a device that can detect magic in an area... Huh. Um, it'll work for about, uh, I believe an hour, if I remember correct. I've not used this in a while. Okay. Ten minutes. Uh, I I up to ten minutes. Oh, I thought it was an hour for some reason. Yep. So. Ten minutes to cast. Ah, it'll run for ten minutes, and, um, if anything was magical, these masts will point at us point in the direction and I will, and this little bit of glass, you see a little glass, like sort of bead on it this will <clears throat> shine a specific uh, rune that will detect it's um, the school as well so we've not got much time for this well, let's get it going let's then, go. and Jordan will start walking further into the cave okay as you guys walk in, uh, Algar stares behind you. Uh, is he still sleeping, or is he coming? He, it's a little creepy that he stares like that. Does he sleep with his eyes open? No, I said stirs. Oh. Oh, stirs. I thought you said sleeps behind you. <laughs> he said stares. No. Stirs. Okay. Awesome. Perfect timing. Let's go then. <laughs> well, I do not know what we'll face in this cave, but it is made, as far as I can tell, entirely of ice, so I can't imagine it sustains much life. That said, maybe our best bet is to leave our strongest fighter where other things may come in. Well, Layla, if you could convince Algar to leave Layla, I'd be very impressed. Yes, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. I Don't think worry, going on. Al G, we can we can keep care, we can take care of Layla, can't we? Al <laughs> uh, do not ever Al call me Al you know, again. Like A -L -G. <laughs> <laughs> But you're just replacing, like, one letter, aren't you? Well, I'm just cutting off the AR. Are it's like a three-letter ALG, you know? Are we going to start, like, a GIF Jeff debate for Algar's name? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him Algar. <laughs> <laughs> you ever call me that ever again, I will break both your legs and make it look like an accident. Damn. As someone That's who metal. very recently freed my legs with a um, tremendous amount of force, I <laughs> take that incredibly seriously. Yeah. 
<laughs> How about we all go together into the cave? Yeah. And just keep an eye out in case anything tries to sneak up behind us, yes? Yes. <clears throat> oh, you know what I can do? Hmm. Oh. I think. I've used this many a time back in my study to try and uh, make sure I was never approached upon back when I thought hiding magic was the most important thing in my life. I'm going to... Uh, I'm not going to make it a ritual because I'm not going to make us wait another 10 minutes, but I will cast mm. Alarm on the mouth of the cave. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. It lasts eight hours. And uh, yep. if anyone crosses the threshold of the cave, um, I think except people I specify, uh, which mm -hmm. will be us, then a ping will go off in my brain. Okay. Ping. Well, we got to no. move because this won't last too much longer. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Um, I'll probably take. If Algar um, wants to take the back, I can take the front. I shall take the middle, where it is safe, presumably. Um, <laughs> Presume. Stay near the front so that this gets the most effective range out of it. Okay. It's somewhere in the middle. Anything. All right, uh, you guys have now entered into the cave. <gasps> and guys, that is 30 feet of dark vision. Darkness. Can't see anything. Uh, you might want to place this wherever the entrance is. <laughs> yeah. Does the staff of Saloon provide light or just warmth? I would assume it wouldn't be much light because it's green. Um, you should be able to see now. Nope. Let me know. Oh, yep. Nope. Uh, I placed a party token. Okay. Oh, <clears> never <throat> mind. I wasn't in the right area. It's so big. Oh, yep. dear God. What was that that I just saw, saw slide over in the corner? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I think it's fine, actually. Uh huh. Okay. I didn't make the walls as good as I should have, but it's fine. Uh, you are in the cave. Uh, you can see those of you who have dark vision. Uh, can see thirty feet in front of you. The cave opens a little bit and becomes kind of like an entrance hallway into the area. A reminder, everybody: we are looking for water. If you see water, collect it. Do we have a way to collect water? I, believe we all I have mean, water I have my skins. water skin. Water skin yeah. is good enough. I have a Dump out the water in there and then take the cave water. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Well. So What's anything cool? within 30 feet radius of me will magic i can detect so mm -hmm. i shouldn't get jumped by that hopefully <laughs> it jumped by what magic and anyone using it magic can jump just gonna keep moving forward until yep. someone tells me to stop <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fine one square at a time has a has a map changed on our stream yeah, our stream delay is just bad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just very, very bad. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, it's very bad. There you go. Well, we have a couple directions. Um, we have no idea. Did the map just map out to the cave, or did it also map like within the cave? The one that we got from Eric. It was just outside of the author, I believe. Yeah, I think it was an direction. exterior map. Yes, it's just to the cave. Okay. That's well, there are four <laughs> paths we can go. I suggest we all split up. Left and right. You want to go by yourself? 
No, I would like to go with Algar. <laughs> I would like to not split up. Let's not. Maybe, maybe not split up would be a good idea. Still no. <laughs> maybe well, let's not, in case there's more goblins living in this cave. Nothing could live in this cave. It's completely you frozen. say that. And that yet... ladybug was also frozen. Okay, what are we afraid of? A ladybug? <laughs> One that freezes people? Yes. I've encountered that ladybug before, and it didn't do anything to me. Good for have you. Have I mentioned that? Did you I mention that? that, actually? You did. You mentioned that you I'm glad I mentioned it. that. <laughs> Doesn't instill a lot of confidence in you, I'll be honest. I'm not sure if it was yeah. the ladybug that froze... Or if it was the ice. You know, I think something else froze the ladybug and, well... Potentially. Turned it into some sort of ice bomb. Well, we don't need to theory craft in the middle of a cave. Yes, let's keep moving. Pick a direction. Uh, so maybe... Left, front left, front right or right. I have decided we will go left. Left. Left it is. Sounds fair enough. I'm That's assuming the right, left we based. Okay, are we doing character left or <laughs> character left? <Yeah>. Okay, <laughs> specify. I decided we will go east. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, just use the cardinal directions. <clears throat> I've decided the cardinal will go east. Whoa. Well, there's something. Hey guys, I see something. Um, as you look forward, you see a fountain of frozen water. Well. <clears throat> Could we be so lucky? And oh, behind the fountain, you see oh, no. a bear. Bear? Who? Yep. We can't see behind the bear. Oh, in his. Okay, there I can <laughs> see his head. The fountain makes it invisible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> An invisible bear. <laughs> <laughs> Who is slumbering quite peacefully. You hear its snores, um, like, <laughs> echo off of the cave wall. Okay. Big old sleepy bear. Uh, can someone roll an investigation? Or perception, actually. Uh, who? Uh, just someone? Probably be someone, a Someone, one person, person, only one person. Does I... not matter who. I can do it if no one else wants to try. Go ahead. Who's uh, got high? Eight. Oh! Eight. Uh, you are too enthralled by the frozen water uh, to notice anything. Who noticed the bear? Uh, yeah. Penguin doesn't notice the bear either. <clears throat> nice. So, how do we melt? the water without waking the bear. What, a bear? Shh. <laughs> Quiet, guys. <laughs> I have, One like, bear. a finger to my mouth. Everybody it's keeps mentioning a bear. And I would like to guys, remind everyone I guys. cannot see. Uh, did you not pull out a torch? You didn't tell me we were supposed to pull out a torch. If you're... You're going into a dark space. It would seem like you'd want to have something to be able to see. I just thought someone would provide me one. Uh, okay, here. <laughs> I give him a torch that I have. Oh my god, there's a bear! <laughs> <laughs> Do you say it in that volume? It would be funny if I did, but <laughs> okay. I'll, let us, I'll let us screw around a little bit. <laughs> the bear does not stir. Part of me wants to get close and take a better look at that fountain, but a part of me doesn't want to wake the bear up. Well, I feel like we need someone who's quiet to go to the fountain, <laughs> melt the fountain enough to get the water. If this even is the right water, is this the right water? Do we know? The... How do we know? It's a it's well my... in a magical cave. Of course it's the right water. Is my detect magic going off for this? No. It's going off on Asa's dagger, but nothing else. It's not magical. It's all right, guys. I'm quiet. I shall do it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. 
You slipped and fell when you stepped foot on the ice. I don't think that's a good idea. That was one no. time, and I <laughs> wanted to lie down. Asa's the saying, go go. I, Asa, roll stealth for me. Do we have a way of melting the ice? I'm gonna laugh if you get a one. Oh, just. Sir, don't use DM power here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> a different DM that I've had has DM power that whenever he says, I'm gonna laugh if you roll something, that's the thing you roll. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say soon enough. That's the issue. Uh, yeah. Asa, you're able to make it to the fountain. Um, and the, what do you want to do? Kill the bear, Asa. Melt the water. Kill the bear. Kill the bear. Don't even Kill the bear. 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 Kill the bear, Asa. Kill the bear. Do it. Where the voice is in your it's head. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking this as happening in character, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we are the when voices in your head. When an address just becomes very blunt. <laughs> all of a sudden. That's what they were blocking off. <laughs> it's me, yeah, Asa. The, the voice is in your head. <laughs> Kill the bear. <laughs> the bear did this to me. <laughs> The bear made me forget. <laughs> this is not a character episode. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the flame in my hand using my cantrip and hold it to the frozen water. Okay. Uh, as you do that, uh, the water does melt in front of you. else feel like this is a little too easy not yes. everything needs to be laced with difficulty perhaps we just have a free win I mm. there's three you know, more tunnels be... so well I think it'd be best if we go and look at those as well after I mean we have the water yeah, we have right, some we water it's not magical right no, you scoop up some water? Okay. Roll initiative, everybody. The bear didn't like that. <laughs> so the Roll walk. initiative, the fountain attacks. <laughs> it's a mimic. It's a mimic. <laughs> Everything's a mimic. It's too much. The bear is a, the bear is a mimic. <laughs> Okay, you make your way back. <laughs> okay. We don't know what you're talking about, Asa. <laughs> We're completely calm in this situation. We're being entirely mature. We're being mature. <laughs> Kill the bear. <laughs> Actually, it's you who's being immature. You're immature. Your Immediately gaslight immature. your friends. <laughs> I love that that somehow we got to the gaslighting again. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? If you want to fight a bear, sure. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, don't Asa. finish that thought. Asa. Um. Asa. Um. Asa, no. Asa. Asa. Asa, you look behind the party where you're walking from, and you see a bear walking, uh, meandering its way over. Oh no! What the <laughs> guys? Guys. <laughs> As we did Fuck. it, we didn't wait. It approaches the here, <laughs> and it starts to like sniff the air. Can we look? I turn around <laughs> to look. Uh, bear. you see a larger bear, <gasps> much go larger the, than the bear uh, uh in front of you. Everyone, go to the wall of the cave. Hopefully, it won't see us. Okay. I'm gonna try and sneak over the wall of the cave. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. wall? I don't have a torch. I just grab oh, just, him. Yeah, just hold on. Someone grab at you. 
Wait, I gave you a fucking torch. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I, I dropped it. I'm really sorry. Oh my god. Did you do that? What? I, you think I did it on purpose? Run, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I mean, you think I did it on purpose Just quietly? Stop. Stop. Just, just grabbing it, like, ever, grabbing an address is like whatever I can get. Just remember, I'm like three foot four. <laughs> just <laughs> walk to the south wall. Alan, we mm -hmm. don't have that kind of relationship yet. Grab somewhere <laughs> else. <laughs> as quietly as we can. Okay. Uh, Asa, please roll stealth. And it's going to walk closer and closer. Oh, dear. And make ourselves as small as possible against the wall. Mm -hmm. Yep. Try not to attract its attention. I, I'm gonna need all of you to roll stealth as well. Oh boy! Disadvantage stealth. I'm Let's go. Really oh. good at that. <clears throat> I have it's a. <laughs> Padlet is amazing at stealth. <laughs> Algar sucks. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> if we get enough. Um, I rolled a natural one. <gasps> oh. What's your bonus? Um, one. Okay, we could still do this. Guys, I think, guys, I think we made it to the per 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 per. <laughs> Someone falls over. All the people with heavy armor. Ching 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 ching. Ching 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 ching. Well, I mean, heavy, heavy, heavier sounds would echo quite a bit on uh, ice, and in a wintry setting. You see the bear kind of almost methodically turn towards you. Sorry. I think we're made. <laughs> Apologize to the bear. <laughs> My name is Adris Thibbs. That is <laughs> <laughs> Now don't you forget that because allegedly I'm a very important person. <laughs> <laughs> According yeah, Asa, to my fake persona. Oh no. Asa's got the water, right? Yep. We've all yeah. Been such heavy I think I'm actually going to play full distraction here. The bear, well, like, okay. has the bear clocked us yet? It's the terrible. bear has clocked you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can... It's lovely to meet you, by the way. I know, like, for bears, don't you get, like, really big and, like, I don't think we can... Well, that's big a big problem big. for me, isn't it? <laughs> get up, okay, you get on my shoulders and then I'll just, like, <laughs> yell at it, you know? <laughs> Wave your arms and stuff. Um... <laughs> please make a wisdom throw, Jordan. <laughs> just... <laughs> a normal wisdom? Yep, normal wisdom. Uh -huh. I rolled a two, and I have a minus two. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. Guys, I think it's working. <laughs> oh no. I already got killed by a bear in episode three. <laughs> Holy shit! Just... Oh, this is great. This is great. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't know oh. what you're supposed to do with different bears. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god. That was the wisdom check? Bear knowledge? Yep. <laughs> bear knowledge. Yep. Bear knowledge. <laughs> Guys, I don't really know what I'm doing, I'll be honest. Oh I've god. never- I'm used to snakes, and snakes are not this big in my experience. <laughs> oh, don't Jesus worry Christ. about it, I got this. Once again, pleasure- I see the turn order thing coming up on the map. Pleasure to make your <laughs> Yeah, please roll initiative. Do you want us to put our tokens out there? Oh, that's great, honestly. Jesus. That's right. Oh, I rolled a zero for an issue. What? Uh, remember to click on your character and then roll initiative. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, <gasps> like, let's go. 
That was so nice. funny. <laughs> I think I'm closest to the bear, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Are you closest to the bear? Well, I did approach him with my hand outstretched. <laughs> Introducing myself. <laughs> Try to shake his hat, Paul. Oh, I hate that. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright, Asa, <laughs> you go first. Natural 20 on that show. Jeez. Move to the behind the bear. Okay. Uh, are you moving at full speed? Like, are you going to be moving? Yeah. All right. Uh, please make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Uwar, you're on deck, and then next up is Address. I got plans. Okay. <laughs> 19. Okay. Uh, you do make the dexterity saving throw, so you are able to stay on your feet. Uh, feel free to move 30 feet. Is it difficult terrain because it's ice? Uh, it's not considered difficult terrain. I guess the difficulty is just staying upright. The div yeah, that's the difficulty. Is that all you're doing for your turn? For now, yeah. Okay. Uh, Uars go. Nets up his address, and then Jordan. The bear looks angry. Yes. The bear looks very angry. Oh, okay. Uh, contradictory, contradictory to the picture. Uh, it is a white bear. Oh, goody. Okay. Um, I guess I'll call out. I think we need to deal with this and shoot it with my crossbow. Okay. Oh, uh, roll to hit. Yeah. Ooh. There's a 24 to hit. Yeah, that will hit. And 11 piercing. Do I get... Is address within melee range of it? <laughs> I think I might be, actually. Yeah. Do I get... Does sneak attack work with ranged attacks? Yes. I believe as long as it's a it finesse does, weapon. Yeah. Ooh, I, is it a finesse weapon? <laughs> Light or finesse? I, I don't even think that's that. I think it's just if you're if you have advantage or your allies engage with the target. Uh, it is with a finesse weapon. I'm pretty sure. You hit an attack. You have advantage on the roll. Attack must be used a finesse or ranged weapon. Okay. Ah. Or ranged. Yep. So I can yes, sneak attack. Yes. Sneak attack. Yep. Oh hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh nice. And For a total of... Uh, 17. 17. 17. Alright. And if I have the opportunity, can I glance at where that other bear is to see if it's stirring? Uh, yeah, it's starting to stir. Cool, great. Cool, well, yep, cool. Look out cool, behind cool. us as well. I think yes. that's my turn. Okay. His eye. It is your go, and then Jordan. <laughs> well, you see everybody. 
this may seem like a situation we have to deal with physically, but I am a politician after all, probably. And there is no problem I cannot solve with words. English, do you speak English? <laughs> to the bear. Uh, <clears throat> it gives no response. Parlez-vous français? <laughs> French is now a recognized language in D and D, so. <laughs> no, that's Elvish. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, that was Elvish. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't think Sylvan. Elvish sounds as do good as people speak does. Sylvan. <laughs> it gives no response. I really thought that one would Edris, work. Edris, I just think it's a bear. <laughs> Maybe back up. Yeah. All right, I'm working on it. Before you get mauled. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Let's do the second most political thing I can do. And um. I'm going to <laughs> unarm strike him. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay. Off a glove and smacks it across the face. What is your strength? Um, okay. Roll to hit. I do have proficiency, so I'm adding two to this. I don't even have unarm strike on my uh, sheet because I didn't think I'd actually ever use it. Okay, I'll do it on uh, Beyond real quick. That is an 8 to hit. An 8 to hit. That will not hit. Oh. Oh. Awesome. So after whiffing on this bear... <laughs> yep. You know how, like, with a shark, you're supposed to punch it in the nose? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's kind of what I went for. Mm. So, like, if I quickly bam and then he'll back off mm -hmm. and i'll just turn around and be like okay guys i i'm fully out of ideas <laughs> okay I... uh that the end of your turn yeah well i'm not gonna walk away because it's going to immediately kill me <laughs> <laughs> all right uh jordan bear and then uh Wewa. okay um well <laughs> I'm going to go... What? There? Um... It doesn't speak French, just so you know. <laughs> that's very good to know. Um, and then I'm just gonna try to stab the bear and get its attention onto me and not address. Okay. Roll to hit. Please, please, please. Yeah. Okay, well, you know. That's, uh... 11 in total? My dice are not... They're... Um... 11 is not enough to do damage. Yeah. Well, you know, I tried to... <laughs> Uh, doing it's great, going to, I think. <laughs> it's going to roar in your face. And oh. being angry at the fact that you swung at it with a, a sharp pointy stick. Uh, it's going to make a bite and a claw attack against you. Oh, lovely. Okay. Oh. Uh, so that will be an 18 for the bite. And a 10 for the claws. The claws don't hit. Okay. But the bite does. For eight points of piercing damage. That Ouchies. would kill me. No, it would knock you out. It wouldn't kill you. Wait. Emotionally, it would kill me. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> I'd be devastated. Adris is just going to spend this entire campaign exhausted. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ow. Well, this is great. Um, Big Bear hurts. Big Bear hurts very much. I'm telling you, we should have gone the diplomatic route. I told uh, you, it Layla, was a bear. then Alger, <laughs> then Panglin. Layla. Um, oh, there we go. Gotta check all those spells. Uh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, you can get close enough. <laughs> Roll to hit. Well, this... This is great. Oof. Um, as you swing at the bear, uh, you slip on the ice and you are unable to hit it. <laughs> uh, Algar's go. Yeah, just for the sake of record keeping, how much damage have we done against this bear? 17. <laughs> 17. Oh, wait, okay. how much did. Oh, wait, no. Did Jordan hit? Nope. <laughs> okay. My Great. guys are very much angry at me. I think they heard me talking earlier. <laughs> Time to swing. Okay. Uh, go ahead and swing. Can't get close enough without slipping. And technically not flanking because the bear's too big for that angle to be considered flanking. A 24 does hit, Algar. Oh my god. Uh, roll damage. Tap, tip, tap, tip, tap. A solid 11. Okay. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> a visible chunk of flesh is now hanging off the bear's side. Oh, after sick. Algar swing. Ew. Uh, I think Algar is able to attack again. Yeah, Algar's got like three attacks to it. Yeah. Swing again. Let's make sure Algar doesn't get killed, guys, because I feel like this is... If anyone's going to survive this, <laughs> it'll be Algar. <laughs> and maybe <Aww>. Layla. <laughs> 21 will hit. Nine damage. Perfect. <clears throat> Are you going to attack again, or is that it? Swing. Swing. Swing, bada bada, swing. Pretty sure. Should say on your thing. Yep. Damn. 25, yep, that will hit. Nice. Four, eight. All right. Uh, Algar swings three violent strikes and almost decapitates a bear. Jesus. Oh. Is it I feel like we're stinking? all equally contributing here. <laughs> and it falls to the ground dead. Jesus. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> all right. Uh, how's that other bear looking? <laughs> 
awake, which I am not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for Augur. So, Penguin, you go. Well, uh, I kind of push my plan out the window. Uh, the other bear is it looking aggressive or is it looking like a kid, like a child? <laughs> so I have a. Uh, have it's a, a full size bear. All right. Uh, let me double check something about this. There's no. I am going to. Palin reaches into one of his many coat pockets and inside and pulls out like a small sort of brass ball mm -hmm. with like a sort of ring in the middle. Push the little button yep. and the ring glows purple and he's going to throw it at the other bear. Okay. It's going to flow, fly through the air and it, just right above him it flashes a bright blue light and I'm going to cast mm -hmm. Fairy Fire. Okay. Oh, nice. Uh... The bear needs to make a dexterity saving throw against my DC of 15. Okay. It got a 9. <laughs> oh. The bear is now outlined in a glowing blue aura. Um, and anyone that attacks it for the next minute has advantage. And that's going to end my turn. Okay. No one told me there was another bear. <laughs> we said there was one. Uh, Asa, you're go. Behind us. You're gonna skip. Okay. Uh, Uar. Uar and then Adris. Okay, I will... Uh, do I have good line of sight on the other bear? Yep. Okay, then I will just shoot oh, it. That is also emitting 10 foot of light as well. Oh, yeah. And you said I get advantage? Or... Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Or eleven piercing. Yeah, that that very easily hits. No sneak attack on this one. Nobody's over there. <laughs> uh, isn't it just if you get advantage? Yeah. Oh wait, it is. I do Yay. get sneak attack. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh. Skip me and come back. Oh. To me. <laughs> okay. Oh well. <laughs> thirteen double. Uh, so thirteen. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you see the uh, arrow just, or the crossbow bolt just sink into the bear's side, and it lets out a kind of pitiful uh, growl. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh, well, uh, you know what's going to be? I lied. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought uh, it was going to be a longer conversation. <laughs> I just then, Jordan. Um, sorry, I don't mean to criticize our battle strategy. We just shot a bear that wasn't attacking us. Would you rather have I gotten will mauled first? To you later? We don't. Well, we don't know if the we don't know if the bear was going to attack us. Just, have you ever encountered a bear before? I don't know. Then <laughs> stop talking and help protect ourselves. Yes. Well, they seem to go down very easily. They're bears. They don't have armor. Yeah. They're wild animals. I've been stewing this idea for about. A turn is 10 seconds, right? Six. 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 A turn is six seconds. Okay. Is there any of the water that, w or the ice that was frozen in the fountain? Is there any, like, water left? Or was it, like, all scooped up? Uh, whatever wasn't scooped up has become frozen again. Okay, never mind. That saves me from a very dumb decision. <laughs> oh, boy. I was just going to run over and drink it. <laughs> I'd love to see that. You know, that's fair. Well, um, should we go? Are we fighting the bear? I'm, 
Really? Well, we don't know if this water is the right water. It's a fountain in a magical cave. It... Do we want to walk all the way back? To... Three other tunnels. Do we want to walk all okay. the way back to town with this water and then only to realize it's the wrong water? Is there going to be a second fountain in this cave? Magic cave. Deal with the bear. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let's right. The bear. <laughs> um, we're fighting the bear? Yes? No? Yes. Yeah, I'll run over and punch it. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, if I can make it. I don't think you can. One, two... <laughs> Fucking deck him. Um... Please make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Please just fall uh, on your ass. <laughs> you, you told me to fight the bear! <laughs> Not with your fist. Uh, dexterity saving? Yep. That's the six. Uh, which way? Which direction are you running? Towards the fountain and the bear. Yeah, but like above or below. What's your, your token. plotting? What's your plotting? <coughs> Move your token. Um, I probably go there, then there. Mm -hmm. You going this mm -hmm. way or this way? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, to you're gonna here. slide into this wall and fall <laughs> prone. <laughs> So you are now prone. Have I contributed meaningfully? Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's what politics does. Uh, it's going to be Jordan, then Layla, then Penguin. Lovely. Fantastic. Um... <laughs> um, I'm going to first, I'm going to cast lay on hands for myself mm -hmm. yeah um i'm gonna do all five points okay so. make sure i don't die um and then move here i think how far is that I think that's like just short of my. There you go. Okay. Uh, please roll a dexterity saving throw. Yep. 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 Uh, Natural twenty. <laughs> Hell okay. Yeah. Uh, like a pro skater, you stand. Manage to stand on your feet. Just slide over. <laughs> Honestly, it's my never been in ice before. Movement. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed what you said, sir. Uh, I said, despite never seen ice before, you're like a pro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I did a lot of roller blading, you know, so it's a similar mm. concept. Uh huh. Yep. You rolled your without blades. The wheels. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> And I think that's it for my turn, because um, my okay. hands is in action. Definitely. Yep. All right, uh, Layla. Uh, Penguin and then Algar is on deck. How do you see movement? Uh, there there's the ruler. ruler. That's about fourth down. Yep, there you go. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yes, you've got options. That would be me. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Go hide the fucking evil bear. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is why I hide mine. <laughs> Yeah, the pink was me. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I just framed you. Address is yellow. <laughs> I framed you. 
was part of my plan all along. Um, 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 um. Uh, Jordane is hurt, yeah. I'm looking better than I did, though. Uh, please also make a dexterity saving throw. I think also healing word you can do from a distance as well. Healing word, yeah. That's the whole point of it. Hmm. 21 for dex. Oh yeah, you're fine. Sits for heals. Okay. Uh, is that your turn, Layla? Uh, right. Penguin, here we go. Uh, okay. Where is this? Gonna whip out the arbalist again. Pull yep. the switch. The arms flap out. Gonna touch the ends of the arms and they're gonna glow red hot again. He's gonna cast Firebolt at advantage. Okay. <clears throat> to attack. Fucking Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Uh, that is not <laughs> enough to do damage. natural one and a four. Hell yeah. End my turn. Okay. <laughs> Good effort. Uh, Algar, there you go. Turn, big turn. That's the way to think about it. Elgar does like a baseball slide. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Use the ice to slide your way. Meow. <laughs> uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Fifteen. That's enough to stay up. So, <laughs> don't worry, Algar. I got this. All right. Um, is that? That's it for Algar. All right. Going to the bears. Going to turn around and move towards uh, address. Well. Right. Okay. Oh, waiting. Why does he have a blue spot on his butt? <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. wondering that as Cause well. Because he, he has a uh, fairy fire. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> it got stuck to the butt. Kind of like a post-it <laughs> note. It says yeah, kick. There, there's fairy fire. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Make it gay. <laughs> Let me read the counter strike again. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure you gotta be five feet. I think it's five feet within a. A melee distance. Uh, no, you're not close enough. He's ten feet away. I. Going to make a. Attack at advantage against uh, address. Cool. Right, because he's prone. Hmm, fantastic. I got oh, yeah, a nat 1 and a nat 20. Oh. 
Okay. Hmm. Yep. Wait. What? Oh, nothing. Contain. Okay. Does anyone have Continue a reaction? Me. Uh, not at this point. Not that's gonna that. Actually, wait. Level no. one. Level one. Give me a number. <laughs> Melee wizard versus bear. Um, seven points. Did the bear move out of damage. the. The bear got advantage because of fairy fire. No, no, because is prone. No. Oh, because you're prone. Never mind. <laughs> yep. I, ignore me then. Yeah, uh, sure. seven damage. You rolled both. Yep. You, you doubled the dice, and they only rolled seven. I rolled three plus one. Oh, that's a weak ass bear. I'm up. Oh. Well, I'm not up. I'm prone, <laughs> but I'm a, but I'm alive. It was on a D eight, oh, Sawyer. Actually, ignore that. Wait, it wasn't a D eight. No, it was on a D eight. Oh, you rolled three on a D eight. Mm hmm. Twice. Plus one. No, I, I just doubled the number. Oh, okay. I thought when you said you rolled three, I thought you rolled three dice. Oh, no. Stop drawing botses. No, that's my fairy fire cube that lingers. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> my bad. I'll put it back up. Yep. No, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, Asa, here you go. Who's doing the distance? That would be, um, light pink. Who do you think? <laughs> um, I know who the colors are attached to. All right, uh, you moved in, Asa. Can you roll a dexterity saving throw? Oh, you want to shoot? Okay. Uh, you do need to make the dexterity saving throw, though. Twenty-two. Yep, you're able to stay on your feet. Roll to hit. Pff, okay. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Dang. Sneak attack. It's got very far. And yep. That is true. Uh, address is prone, and I don't think that counts for advantage. I think it just yeah, says right. if anyone's in melee range. I could melee. I'm willing to do that. Yeah. If another enemy of the target is within five feet of that enemy. Oh, and isn't incapacitated. Never mind. Yeah. You still get it with very fire, though. Oh, for one. Okay. I, at least it's something. <laughs> it counts. It, it does something. something. So. Better than hitting it for uh, 11 and it's got 1 HP. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Uar, here you go. I'm going to shoot it. Okay. Because it works. And I miss. Oh no. No. <laughs> It doesn't hit me by any chance because it missed, right? <laughs> it is a nat one. Oh no. Yep. Uh, let me Wait, just no, it would be advantage. Rolls. It was. Oh, yeah, advantage. it is advantage. Do I roll another d20? <laughs> yeah. Or just roll it again? Hold on. Yeah. No, roll another d20. Okay, plus whatever my shit is. Uh, d20. <sighs> Five plus 
six, 11. 11 is not enough to hit it. Uh, well, it would be 11 plus, wait, no, it is just plus six, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's rough. Yep. <laughs> not a net one, though. <laughs> We're rolling great, right, guys. <laughs> We're doing great. Yeah, I had a one and a four. That's a one and a six. <laughs> cool. Well, yeah, this is great. Uh, address, here you go. So I am laying down, <laughs> looking up yep. at the bear. Yep. Which is directly above me. Mm -hmm. If I were to reach up, because the bear has just tried to bite me or claw me. Uh, bite you. If I were to reach up right now, would I be able to make physical contact with the bear's head? Yes. Okay. I'll, uh, I'm going to reach up. I'm going to make physical contact with the bear's head. Mm -hmm. And I don't really need physical contact with the bear's head to do this. Yep. But since I'm here, I'm going to cast a glimmer tear again directly centered on this bear's face Ooh. okay uh so that's gonna be neutral because you are prone yep which is fine because i never miss this 16 no you do not miss it so i do not miss hit. It. uh roll damage Rolling damage. One damage. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Let's go. Beautiful. <laughs> um, the bear needs to make a wisdom saving throw on a. Yep. Well, I don't know what it is. It's either fourteen or thirteen. Meets a beats. Right? It got a four. Okay. Um, its next attack will have disadvantage. Okay. Uh, sounds good. Uh, next up is Jordan and then Layla. Well, I'm having a fun time over here now that the bear's <laughs> gone over there, like an mm -hmm. asshole. Um, well, this is trying to avoid you. This is so rude. I just want to have a nice conversation. Okay, hold With on. Let's do some math. <laughs> With my sword. Okay. So, wait, wait, I gotta get back to the select thing. So, I get there, I guess, maybe? Uh, I don't know if I want to be there, actually, now that I think about it. Um... <laughs> Remember, if you're still in the cube, it doesn't affect you. It just affects anything that's like objects are still in it. You only get the advantage if you are in the cube when it's cast. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, then yeah, I will be there. Um, and then I guess I'm just gonna kind of try to like distract the bear and get its attention. Like, okay. I'm just gonna, like, take my shield and my sword and, like, start banging on it and try to get its <laughs> attention kind of thing away from Adam. Okay. Uh, <laughs> roll a performance for me. Okay. Ten plus two is twelve. Okay. Uh, it's going to turn around and look at you. Yep, this is what I want. <laughs> hey, bear. <laughs> um, and then I think that's like all I can really do. I'm just going to keep its attention on me kind of thing. For... Okay. For a bit. Uh, Layla, then Penguin. Um. <clears throat> oh, 
hold, she says. Yep. Layla casts hold. <laughs> hold person? Layla casts hold bear. <laughs> Hug the bear. Very specific spell to have. I don't know how you saw it coming. <laughs> Filthy meta gamers. <laughs> I know, right? M's Looking over my DM notes. I know, yep. it's just fucking doxing all your notes. I think Em would cry if she saw my notes, so. <laughs> well, I cry when uh, I see my notes. It is. <laughs> it's range for fireball. It is, but because of the fountain, it's giving a uh, half cover. The fountain goes up about 20 feet, so. She's got movement, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying from where no. she is. Yeah. He's not allowed to move. I say it for M's sake because people are forgetting some of the things they can do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot I could stand up. I'll own it. <laughs> M, you don't have to move that far. Yeah, you can just step to the side so it's in view. <laughs> Stand like right up. here. Hold up. No, nope. where is it? Stand like right here you and you're like probably right fine. There. <laughs> yep, you can see the bear now. Uh, you have advantage because of fairy fire. Oh, yeah, the very fire came in clutch with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. Uh, yeah, roll damage. Seven damage. All right. Nice. Shot. Get him out. Uh, next up is Penguin, if Wewa has nothing else. Uh... You're done. All right. Fair Very excited line. about being finished. Uh, <laughs> Firebolt. Uh, that didn't work last time. <laughs> Give it a go mm -hmm. again. Hey, hey, there we go. <laughs> exact <laughs> inverse of what Layla rolled. Holy shit. Amazing. Uh, I, thought, I thought I ever said one for a minute. I was like, let's go. Uh, eight <laughs> points of fire damage. Jeez. High five, Layla. He just. Boom, and the crossbow bolt. Well, the crossbow mm -hmm. sends the bolt home and just. The firebolt arcs out towards the bear. Yep. Uh, Is that it for you, go? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Algar. Swing. All right. Advantage. You do have the advantage, so sits d20. As if Algar fucking needed any more help. Right. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Three attacks, fucking... Jesus. Algar MVP. Nice. 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 Uh. Algar skins the bear in one swing. <laughs> I, I did one damage. <laughs> More than I did. <laughs> Where are the rest, Em? <clears throat> Just give me all the dice rolls and then give me damage. Oh, 
20, 17, and 19. Okay, all of them hit. Nine, nine, and twelve. Okay. Uh, how would you like to do this? Hey. Hearing Algar making that laughing sound is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really deep hee <laughs> hee. All right. Sounds good. Uh, very brutal, but uh, as Algar viciously chops the other bear to pieces, uh, you get this sigh of relief and uh, combat ends. Everyone gets a total of 85 experience points. Woo! Nice. Does that put you guys over or not quite? Nope. Nope. Park out with XP thresholds off. <clears throat> 43. 45 okay. at the moment. Cool. I'm at 185. Nice. Oh, that's right, because you gave up some of yours. Mm hmm. I ran away from some goblins. Didn't feel fair. Uh, yeah, as cool. the bear collapses to the ground, that is where we are going to end tonight's session. Hey. Pretty good. Pretty good. Congrats on surviving. Yay. I think we all contributed, but it was all Algar. It was. Oh, yeah. Hey, Most hey, 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 yeah. hey. I gave him the advantage. True. You're and right. I did one damage. I kept the bear <laughs> from killing you. Maybe. <laughs> I would have been fine, but I appreciate it. Uh huh. How many hit points are you? When at? that crit hit, I was like, "Wow, you—he's just killed Adras." Yeah, I was like, <laughs> it's, "Right." It's just sixteen damage. I'm dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. But yeah, the tail of <laughs> Just got his memories back, fucking mauled to death by a bear in a cave somewhere. <laughs> There's a metaphor in here somewhere. <laughs> Brutally just savage to death and then eaten. But yes, uh, thank you everyone who came out and watched tonight's episode. Uh, we will back be back in two yes. weeks on March 19th. 3.45 Eastern Standard Time. Mark your uh, calendars. Mark your calendars. Uh, lots of interesting adventures to come out of <laughs> this cave. Um, have a good night, America. <laughs>